are launch week streaming again. Welcome. Uh, my name is Andrew. I am Aaron on Discord. I am the creative director here at Shiny Shoe and on Inkbound. And I'm Kimi. I'm the community manager here at Shiny Shoe. I'm Shiny Kimi on Discord and all just Discord, actually. <laughs> and um, and this is the official Inkbound Twitch account. And right. We yeah, you found it. Yeah, you, you found it. And if anybody does not know what Inkbound is, would you like to? Just sure, I hope we do. Yeah, yeah. And otherwise, let's maybe open it up because I yes. think it's, it's happening in front of us right now. This is what Inkbound is. It's hanging out and having a dance party and having a cat run around you and all these things. Uh, no, yeah, Inkbound is a online roguelike uh, co-op. You can also play it solo, RPG style experience, do quests, all these sorts oh. of things. Um, we are audio is super low is what someone's saying. So we're going to think about turning it up. We're going to yep. also all of our content creators. We've given codes to kind of anyone making content for the game, any YouTubers, any Twitch streamers. And if your favorite is playing the game and doesn't have any codes, have them reach out to us. We will get them some codes. Yeah. Reach out to um, me. you can go hang out with them, uh, and get a code as well. We want them to be able to give this away. Not just us. We give away a few, but we want them to give away more. Um, so. Yeah, sorry, oh, yeah. Fox Indy. I didn't realize that you were offline. For some reason, if you search to raid somebody on Twitch, I'm still new at this at the raiding thing. It'll still show like it'll still show people on the list of possible like of possible oh, no. like who are offline. Oh. It doesn't make any sense. Like, so why sense. would you we'll, even? All right, we'll try to do better. Well, I guess we have to like log log over to a tab or tab over and look at them. Um, oh yeah, look at the chat. Now it's not rotating. Uh, it's got. <laughs> It's got, kind of got a lot of pages, 17 pages. It's a lot right now. I keep doing um, this. Sorry. They, they can go check it out on their own. It's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just going to say that like, we're, we're going to polish it. We're going to add a filter now that we're not doing rotation there. Um, also, like, please don't think you have to buy everything. Don't buy everything there. The idea with the amount of things in it is to like give you options more than have a bunch of stuff you buy. So just please buy what you're interested in. Interested in. There's some cool stuff. I like the – do we have the hammer on right now? Personal fave. Oh, my personal fave? Uh, the the worm hammer. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it wiggles. It wriggles. It's a little bit gross. I love it. So that's on there. Um, it's so good. Yeah, put it out. All right, great. They're asking questions. Piper Pip, uh, will we do weekly streams after the giveaway extravaganza? Yes. Uh, throughout all of development, we do these Friday streams. Uh, and Wednesday. Also streams yeah. on Wednesday. You're going to do like a, a ladder yep. climb, right? You're going to do a... Yep skills development yep absolutely cool. exactly so we've been doing so previously before launch the wednesday streams were speed runs which you know maybe we'll bring back but right now because everybody still is like you know learning the game these these are going to be like you know just mm, like in interactive tutorials during right, right. yeah on wednesdays cool yeah 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 like and then as you climb we'll get harder and harder yep uh Amore, I hope I'm saying that right, it says, man, I missed the Daily Cosmetic Shop. Uh, I appreciate it. I think you and I are maybe the only ones who miss it. I, I kind of liked it, but I'm like, you know, obviously, everyone made a really good point about it, and I think we made the right call for sure. Um, what we're likely to do is we are likely to do rotating sales at some point. Um, obviously, the store has not been like super focused. The UI is a little basic, things like that. I don't even know in season two that's going to be our main focus, but at some point here, uh, doing rotating sales or something like that, um, I, I think it'd be compelling, but we'll you know, dip our toes in that. We'll get feedback on it before it goes live, so on and so forth. Um, the other question, no wings. Is, yeah, people are talking about the wings, the back slot. Um, we've had some wings. They were just like not as polished as we want them to be. Um, so we just, we just like didn't put any in that slot yet. We'll bring that back at some point as well. Um, there were some cool butterfly wings. Yeah, there were really cool butterfly. What's the skin that I, I've got right now? It is... Oh, yeah. I've got Forge Fusion Armor, because I'm playing the Magma Miner right now. Right, so this is the one that's in the cosmetic shop, and then the other one is on the pass um, that you can get, yeah. the, the Lightning one. Yeah. The, um, yeah. Lightning. <laughs> Squeegee says, forward. you guys get your back slot if you be good. Yeah, Squeegee made some cool stuff for it, too. Just had, like, some clipping stuff, and there's some things we could make a little bit better, and we decided to polish other areas uh, for the launch we just had um, on Monday. So, um... Nucleos asks, permanent upgrades for characters, starting rounds with something extra would be fun. We have two things we're kind of working on. So the way we're going to do things is we're going to do big season mechanics and we're going to do like other game changes with the seasons. So some things could be like a season mechanic where we give some power growth, but it goes away at the end of the season. Some things could be permanent. We might dip our toes into it for one of those. It won't be the next season. That said, we're also looking at ways to like configure your character a little bit more before you start a run, a little bit more theory crafting, a little bit more stuff like that. 
and we will probably approach that a bit in season two more news to come they're both things we're looking at though like swapping either swapping abilities or picking a vestige to start with or something like that um generally personal progression i do agree like that power growth can divide the player base and that's the reason we want to be like careful with it basically we want to make sure we dip our toes into it in a certain way but again maybe a season mechanic could be okay um but yeah we're gonna we're gonna be careful um Ben11178 one, 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 asks, how long our season's going to last? Is there an estimate? Yes, we're going to aim for about three months. Um, we think that gives enough time to kind of like bake in and accomplish all things in an existing season and then come up with something fresh. So we are we are working pretty hard to get that ready for you guys, but also oh. continue to support the current version of the game. Uh, ben11178 one, 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 has a great question. How long is our season's oh, going to last? Oh, I answered that one. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, I'm reading the... Uh, da, 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 da. Are there, oh, sorry, Killer Penguins, are there boosted chance for, did you also do nope. that one? Okay. Nope. Which one? Sorry, that's what I was, are there boosted chance for a rare augment oh. on higher difficulty? Um, I started reading No, that. there's <laughs> no boosted chance for a rare augment on higher difficulty. Um, the only way to boost your chance for rarity, there's two ways, actually. One is, like, there's an event that gives you uh, extra luck. Um, and then the other way is, like, if you if you go on a losing streak and unranked, it'll actually start giving you slightly higher rarity things until you get some wins. Um, because we're, like, we sometimes give you a little help there. Um... The dog event. All right. So, should we start a run? We should probably start a run. Yeah. And um, I'm also going to start the. Are we going to do our bet? Our usual? Oh, yes. Let's absolutely so do we, our bet. We had a bet we were doing. Um, and this is back when we were doing a little more a little more chaotic balancing in the old days. Um, we are we, are, we always bet if Cammy is going to live. So, uh, do you know what, what rank you're going to play on today? Oh, we're doing Inkbound. You're doing Inkbound. You're going all the way to we're the top. We're going. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm so, going to start a prediction. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's start. Will I, okay. So, basically, what it is is. Right, like you said, uh, Andrew always is trying to make sure that I lose on stream, and I don't want to lose on stream. So we're going to be doing <laughs> or, a... Or just die. Yeah, or just die, yeah. yeah. And so I'm going to give it 15 minutes. 15 People can minutes. vote. We're okay. going to do Inkbound rank, which is, if you don't know, it's the highest rank. And, and you've got these like, little attention currency things. or something. Yeah, there's something you earn from watching us on stream that you're yeah. going to be able to bid on this if you're new here so you can bid you can win you can lose it like divides the losing teams amongst the winners um oh and thanks fox Indy, for rating that's great <laughs> thank you so much that's really yeah. sweet um the other thing i want to mention before we um before i start the codes giveaway so that everybody has a chance to um enter because so one it's not gonna we're not gonna draw until the end of this stream and then there will be another uh giveaway happening with colin right. um so you'll have plenty of time to enter Two, I have a few of you have not been following and been entering the stream, and just so I have made it so that you have a little bit of a better chance if you follow. Oh, we'll tell. Okay. And also, I have changed the hashtag because some of you are you guys are just popping in and doing and, so and we're just, doing a giveaway now. No, no, we're gonna start it and then I'm gonna draw it at the end of the because some people like come in and then they like I want to be able to make sure that I everybody has a chance to all right. do it. Alright. Sounds good. Um okay and then yeah we're gonna start all this. Right. Oh uh, and sorry one last thing. You guys might have noticed that I've changed the follower goal for uh the channel. Uh thank you so much for helping us get to one thousand. If we get to two thousand we're discussing a special giveaway for well, uh, yeah we're gonna well, do a special reward. Yeah so special, special reward everyone Who's around will get access to a reward. We're, we're gonna figure out what it is. It'll be good. It'll be great. It's gonna be worth it. Yeah. Um, if you're here, they're there, if they're here on the day that we get 2,000, I think. Yeah. The plan. You so, gotta be there on the day that we get we get to 2,000, and then we will have a special reward available for people. All right. So we're doing <laughs> this Inkbound run. It's got all all the challenges. All right. So Inkbound book mutators have been added. Minions have plus twenty percent max HP. Villains and guardians have plus fifty percent max HP. Guardians have additional forces to defend them. Creeping blade deals additional damage. I think it's Ooh. six. Ooh. Um, Creeping blade inflicts a debuff. Challenge buffs are extreme difficulty and additional enemy type in each wave. And all villains have increased in difficulty. And once the spam dies down in chat, I'll, I'll pick up more questions. Yeah, as I well. know. So it's... feel free to re-ask your questions. I think we've probably lost them. Um, I think you're in the lead on. Am I? I think so. Yeah. Oh. That's right. It's oh. close though. It's closer than it usual. Close. Sometimes it's really. Yeah, I've got a yeah. good today. All right. Let's see. I am playing magma miner, so magic might not be great for me. 
Unless I do something. Bleed is always great, and especially with Bonk. I kind of love that. And then... I think I'm gonna... So, un Unbared asks, are there any benefits playing solo to balance out the fact that you can exchange vestiges with your party? Um... Group play does scale, and, and it actually scales a little bit more than, like, per player. So there's some balance there. I would say that, like, grouping is still, like, at the highest level of efficiency. Easier, but that's a little also a balance that you have to deal with playing with other players, coordinating with them and stuff as well. So, uh, you know, it's a bit... I would say it just kind of depends on your play style, how things are going, um, if multiplayer is going to be easier or harder for you. Um... Uh, Bonky Bonkers, long yep. time, haven't checked. How they're looking? How are we looking with more characters? Expanding on, on the already existing ones or adding more? Um, we will be doing some expansion to what is available to the existing characters. We're trying to figure out what that means. Um, we are also working on a new aspect for the new season. Um, so that is all stuff we are working on. So we'll be expanding kind of the game in general. Um, uh, the ban and in game action channel points thing appears to not work. Oh. That's not. What? They're trying to ban an action, but it's not working. I know, I don't know why. Huh. Okay, yeah. well, I'll have to figure that out afterwards. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, and we have some new emotes also that I uh, got. There should be a Scribbles uh, little emoji, but I don't know. I don't know why it hasn't always been, why it hasn't been showing up. I've been trying to figure that out. There we go. Yes, we are fighting the bird again. Because my party members are nice and aren't gonna put pit us against the roots. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think we gave we gave a bit of a. Let's see, we're making some changes. We're making it so the tentacles don't explode when they respawn, or like they don't AE damage when they respawn. On Argoloth, that's not in yet. That should be in the next balance patch we do. Um, obviously, we made the mushroom last a little longer on Cinder and Runestone. No adjustments we know we're making yet, but I'm sure we will. Well, Mumpy says. High key, room stunts easiest, so maybe that's why we won't make any adjustments. Yes. How long are seasons? Yep. Asks Ms. Nuke you. We should add this to the FAQ. Um, we will announce soon when this one's going to end. That said, we are aiming for about three months per season. We think that's a good amount of time for everyone to get through all the content that we put out there, get a little bored of it maybe, and then be ready for the next thing that we're going to do. Also, I'm to do, like, work on all the things we want to work on. I think a little damage is fine. Uh, Thumper says, I love Tentacle Boss, so much fun. Absolutely. Yes, Cinder is maybe a little bit easier, so oh. maybe that's why. Gotta look at those numbers. <laughs> Gotta check it out. Speaking of the bosses, Shadow King um, has one of the helms you can unlock just by winning runs and beating villains. So there's Perfect. one for each villain, I believe, that you can unlock, and they all look pretty great. So Here, I'll show there it. are some free hats to earn just by beating bosses. Yeah, right and here. Shadow King, do you want to show yeah. off a bit your, uh, yeah. I don't know if you, I can't, I can't zoom in. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, they, okay. can, they can catch it while we're playing. Yeah. Woo. All right, um, I'm going for a burn, Magma Miner burn, so I'm going to do Incendiary. <laughs> Extra Sonic asks, how much we sleep in the past few days? Well, I have the largest coffee they give me. But uh, we do have Memorial Day off, so yeah, we're taking uh, taking the weekend off. We, you know, make sure the patch is in stable position, and then we're all, you know, gonna go skiing or whatever. So everyone's <laughs> going to talk over here. That's what everyone does in San Francisco on Memorial Day. All right, let's see. Do we want the? Hmm. Uh, Ivaras says, do we have plans to make content used for more players, like the classic raid? It sounds like fun to explore at some point. Um, we have no plans right now. We want to make sure that this sort of core experience uh, is really good. We have a lot of things we want to add to it um, and expand. But then, you know, as we start getting through that list of things, getting all that polish done, you know, could be something we try. It was somebody, uh, Vivid, Feathers, bleh, Viv, Vivid Feather said, which cosmetic set are your guys' favorite? Oh, um, I actually really like the... Obelisk one that I think is in the past. Let's Actually, see. we open that up and we go, yeah, go to the, uh, I think it's towards the end. It might even be the last one you unlock. Going, yeah. This one? Yeah, that one. Actually, it's the last thing you unlock at all. Yeah, that Woo. one's good. Um, I really like the, um... Also, if you missed it, we did announce that the pass will be available after the season. Um, you can pick it up after the season. You can... 
do whatever. The only thing that will not be available is likely the shinies themselves. So if you want that bonus, payback of the shinies, you, you gotta get them during the season, but everything else, like all the cosmetics you can unlock, you can, you can just keep unlocking it. So there will be a way to keep progressing the passes um, after season. I really like this one. This is my favorite clairvoyant diva. Look at um, this. Look at the pearls. It's so great. Okay. Oh, 2023 says they're enjoy I made amazing. Yeah, thank you. Glad to help test it. Yeah, we appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys being here. It's very exciting. Um, Tenshi41 asks, uh, make visuals for expiring orb easier to- I thought we made a change in this patch. I actually haven't had a chance to look at it. Um, we'll see if we let one expire, but I believe the VFX folks made a change to try to make it more. Um, okay. And v box is saying, yeah, that's that's in and that's easier to see. So that's good. Sure. The next one we're working on is making it easier to see when you're standing in blight. That is in progress right now. Plague Doctor Clairvoyant says, Mumsy is great with the green fire. It is pretty, that is a really cool one too, actually. Um, Squeegee says, love those VFX folks. An unbiased opinion. Since, yep. <laughs> Uh, AK Pullman says, you must be able, you know, run away from enemies. We're doing a bit more balancing here. We're going to add a few more enemies that are purely AE. Um, we do think it's important to, like, manage health. So, you know, just to talk about this change a little bit more. Um, basically, before, in the demo version of the game, it was very binary. Either you would stand in the death pits or you would not stand in the death pits. Um, which is kind of fun. Like, that is fun. Like, death pits are fun. You want to stand out of them. Don't stand in the fire. Classic MMO thing. That said, there's also optimizations to do within, like, do you take eight damage or six damage or four damage? And that can like add up or not over a long run. And those means there's more like granular decision-making that can pay off um, in one way or the other. So we basically made it so you do take a little more, you take more guaranteed damage, obviously, but we added more healing. So at the fonts, you can always heal yourself, for example. So managing your health and succeeding at preventing damage, even if it's mitigating it, means more now. So I think there's a chance that we went a little too far in that direction and we will be adjusting some things. Um, but I think we've also gained some ability to express skill from that, and we're gonna we're gonna keep that broadly, even though we'll probably keep tuning it, um, especially in the next season. I don't know. I love spawning orbs. Let's do that. Okay. And ooh, ten percent to spawn. I'm gonna do that. I just want to be a little orb spawner right now. Uh, Marksman Boy asks, "Is there a way to see orb pickup range? Can never accurately eyeball." The change I actually think I want to make there is to like not let you pick it up it's going to cost you movement but instead just give you a little bit of an error and let you move closer um we didn't get to do that for launch but it's been in the backlog and that's i'm inclined to do that so it is kind of like you don't want to spend that movement point if you can help it and sometimes it's not obvious i think they do a little visual change when you are in range but that's also a bit subtle okay Pullman also said happy with the removal of the enemy attacks during your turn the jank included it was janky we never got that polished it was a really interesting idea it was obviously in the game during the demo and people played it but it just never kind of worked out especially in multiplayer it had flaws um so yeah so that was definitely something we obviously pulled out and are not likely to return to at least that core idea also i'm just about to win this right no, now no you're absolutely you're not help. <laughs> play testers help i mean uh no, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're up there. They're having fun. I know. They're, they're not. Uh, wow. Wait, what? I, I haven't been paying enough attention to what I you're know. doing. I know. Okay. Maybe you can kill one of these or two of them. Oh, wait. No, I, I chose the wrong guy. Too. Right. They're they're currently resistant to physical. Okay. Yeah, you need to try to take that one out. Uh, Which is not good. All right. It looks like you're going to live, but not not close. Ooh, 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 ooh. Or quite close to that. Um, Unbared asks, how often do we plan on doing aspect balance changes? Right. Um, so as a live game, we're definitely like, cognizant of being like a little careful with that. Um, we want to make sure they're focused, they have reason. So we're thinking we'll probably generally, like especially for any changes to passives or things like that, um, make it sort of a focused push within a season rather than something during a season in a balance patch. Um, so the answer is we haven't really totally figured that out yet. We're going to be figuring it out as we go forward here. Um, but we're, we're definitely keeping an eye on it. Obviously, we're making some tweaks already. Today's patch did some. We'll likely continue with a few more patches like those. Um, Spy Games, do we have a plan to move the camera around the field like MOBAs, lock and lock, etc.? Um, can be annoying. Yeah, we're going to keep working on the camera. That could be the answer. Um, we're definitely at least going to extend it. But I know some people don't necessarily love the shift thing. Um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll keep working on it. I don't know the answer yet, um, but we hear that like it's not 100% where it should be. I don't want to attack any of them because they're, then they're going to come after me. Okay. 
Oh, that's smart. Okay, I'm actually not gonna take an action this turn. This really sucks. I need some, I need a healing. I need something. I might like just not do anything. Cause... Well, where, who are those guys attacking? Oh, they're all attacking. I mean, yeah. looks like trouble right now. Um. Okay, we got this, I think. Okay. Okay. Really good questions. Oh, I think I missed one here. Can I have you scroll up? I know you're very. Oh, sorry. What is that? No, you're fine. Um. Graphical settings in the. Oh, scroll up a little more. Uh, a little uh, more. What is this? Uh, newbie one Kenobi asks, "Will there be more graphical settings in the future? Will there be modifications to the free cam or zoom out options?" Yep, we're still. Yeah, we're looking at the camera stuff, like I mentioned before, and graphical settings. Yes, we will keep working on that. Um, and there's other optimizations we know we can do at this point. We have not like fully optimized the game. So like we know we're getting some chugging during certain battles or sometimes in the Athenium. So uh, those are things we'll be looking at as well and just improving in general. So we've got a potato machine out here, it runs pretty well. Um, and we use it to make sure that we can keep improving the game on those potatoes. Did someone die? e box Sacrifice uh... themselves for the cause. You gotta, you gotta do damage. I know, I'm trying. The way out is through. Okay. Everything's very low. Uh, Delobster, is there somewhere you can submit suggestions for changes or additions to the game? Rewatch Discord quite closely. Um, also, in game, if you hit F8, you can send feedback. Um, I thought we were gonna put that back on screen. Maybe we didn't quite get to it. So, yes, you can send us feedback on F8. We look at those. We look at Discord. Even if we can't reply to everything, we're definitely like kind of parsing them and we're taking it and using it in our feature development. So we listen to all of that. Restore, restore. Says, yeah, you're getting demolished. Restore. Um, <laughs> sure you, people can win an ink bomb. This is a, this is a pretty tough run um, you guys are on. Uh, I guess this one might be good. Uh, or, oh, no, 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 on using a physical binding. Okay, twice per turn, perfect. That's yeah, better. Pretty solid. That's, uh, ooh, this one's great. He says they can do it. They've done it before. I've, I've been confident I was gonna win on these screens and it's, come through. So this is definitely a case where you can see a lot of these players are going to pick up that heal at the font because you need the health and that's totally fine. You don't, you miss out on a little power, but you can get that heal. So even though there will be some guaranteed damage coming into the next battle or very likely you're, take damage, you're going to take damage, you're never going to the next battle totally worn out. Ooh. Mm. Uh, Weaver stuff, AK Pullman, you say Weaver stuff is all jank, specifically in the collection missions. Uh, might have to look at that. I'm not totally sure what that means, but... Do I even want this? That, yeah, know. Weaver's collection page has two or three swap. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, let me write that down. I don't know if this is a good vestige. Is this? Does anybody in the chat know if I should take station grade? <laughs> Claxon, I don't know if it's actually good for... I I like it, but it's not good for you because you love orbs. I do love orbs. I always don't take it. If you take orbs, yeah, that's I always do. I cannot resist. They're so shiny. What? <laughs> I can't... Can, especially in multiplayer, you can get, like, your team, the rest of your team can take your orbs, which, you know, right. you don't love personally, emotionally, but you're still getting the power of your orb to your team. And you can just. Oh, that's a good point. Why did I not do that then? Oh, well, maybe I'll. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a little burn. Do a little jump. Kill a little guy. And. Uh, yeah. Edric VT is, uh, would love more visual clarity on quests where you need to go for augments and bindings. Yes, absolutely. We will 100% be adding. A little indicator on augments and bindings you need to pick for quests, on books you need to go to for quests. We love that suggestion. It is very much on our list of things to do. Also, multi uh, tracking multiple quests is pretty high on our list. Yeah, I think the Klaxon's probably actually too good for a common, that's personal opinion. Um, so it might go to a higher rarity here at some point, but you know, we'll see if people use it enough. Ah. Uh, Run 
Rooster says, it's finding the spot to carve a random spot. I'm actually not sure. No. I was not sure. I was counting on that orb. I was gonna get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on over here? You still got, you got some health. You guys are doing yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shielding. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's fine. That's good. Yay for Devox. Devox, you're amazing. Uh, uh Burr says, Le plans for legendary uh, potions or fish. Yeah, that does seem like fun. Um, I agree. Yeah, actually, why have there not been any? Just having a time. Huh. Trying to, trying to make a lot of things. But no, that seems like fun. Um, AK Poland didn't play a lot of Weaver in the beta. Oh, sorry. Did they also have the unbind mechanic? Uh, you know. Sorry, sorry, Viper. <laughs> I think I'm not. I'm actually not sure what state they were in the beta. Um, we have definitely made a lot of changes to our classes to development as we attempted to dial them in, and we learned what was fun, what wasn't fun, and so on. Um, obviously, making a whole new combat system and style of game. There was a lot to learn. There still is a lot to learn. Uh, will the hub be decorated for special seasonal events? Yes, absolutely. That is, that's the, that's absolutely the plan. Um, part of really what we want to do to make this game feel living, online, connected, all these things is decorating the hub and having the hub change with the seasons and with other things happening in the story. So that is the plan. I'm already on my on my wavelength with that decoration too. Yes, I'm excited about that. Um, Whoa! How much shield is this? Is this shard globe giving out? I've got thirteen. Wow. Yeah, but okay. Some of it I know from my vestiges, but wow. Okay, nice. Uh, can we get fireworks in the hub for American Freedom Day? Maybe a fireworks emote. All right, we'll see. Maybe, we'll see. yeah. We'll see, we'll see. That's, see a, that's a nice idea. A little fireworks can click and set oh, off. Yeah, maybe. let's get some scribbles going. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting that's to you. end. I know, I'm the problem. You're I'm the so problem. sorry. You're the problem. <laughs> everyone else, you're like, what's everyone doing? I know. I well, I, I, I've got a lot of different no, things. Look, I'm looking at a lot. <laughs> that's absolutely true. You're trying to stay alive. We're trying to watch chat. Trying not to die. I know, I can't uh, people... Do we want Kenobi? Do we have plans to add a controller support? Yes, we do. Like, we think a controller would be great. We'd love to add it. Uh, a lot of folks seem to want it, so that seems good. Yeah. It's in the backlog. Uh, we will be working on getting a roadmap out to you guys. Obviously, we want to continue to be responsive to things, so it probably won't go too far in the future, but it'll help you give you some, some ideas of, you know, what's already on our mind and things like that. So, um, we've wanted to let the launch settle, continue to collect feedback. Um, and to kind of start some of our other planning that we have to do, but as that's been going, we're getting closer to being able to put that out. Let me, let me out. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> a broken heart shield for Valentine's is asked. How did I message? Ooh. That's cute. Uh, we got a, no, we almost a got a year idea. for that, so, so. Right, we have, we have some time. I think that's Halloween it. is the one that's going to happen during the next season, so. Yeah. Those yeah. should be a lot of fun. Um, the lobster, great sweet, open response to the team. Yeah, Yay. absolutely. No, we love it. Um, that's the goal. We are a small team, we're a small company, and it also means that we get to communicate a lot with you guys and just kind of talk about what we're working on. Um, it's also our first self published title, so it's just, you know, kind of us driving all the things. We don't have to talk to someone else even there. So it's been great, and we're really glad we're able to do that. Their voyant should get a vampire skin. I love that idea. All right, uh, right, AK right Pullman, down. are we hiring? Not at the moment. <laughs> Not at the moment, but yeah. at some point, uh, hopefully. Ooh, I actually hadn't seen the new mushroom. I know, isn't it beautiful? That just that um, went right for a I, I actually love this idea. This is this ability power is definitely what we need. And magic bindings get one cost discount. I don't have a lot of magic bindings. Wow. Ooh, more just than one enemy. Yourself, huh? Let's do that. Da -da -da. Nine Raptor, if there was a two to three minute short video for each class explaining an overview of their me mechanics, that would be amazing. Yeah. That is something that I guess I could I work would, on for YouTube. It could be, yeah. yeah. I would also say if someone else out there wants to make those, we would absolutely promote it. You know, we could like pin it or link it. So if someone out there beats us to it, um, totally something that we would, uh, you know, promote. Oh, none of these look good. None Sun of these. Shadow says, let me know if you need a social media guy that re slowly responds with troll responses. 
I feel like, you know, maybe Cammy's just very nice inherently. So <laughs> I'm just too maybe nice. we just need the, the devil and the angel of social responses to she like tag tag you in. This one needs a spicy response. Uh, uh Monster Imp Queen Imp Queen aspect. Imp Queen is a lot of fun. I like I like that. Mumsy says it's okay, you I can be bad cop. Yes, please. I do not like <laughs> being bad cop. I like I will bring down the hammer on bad actors, but I will try to do it as much as possible. Right. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yep. Yeah. Let's get this guy. Good idea. Yeah. Most important talent I need for community. Talent for community matters. Help people get good. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> that's my job mostly. I'm like, sometimes people have fates and balance thing, and I'm like, they're just playing wrong. I mean, we want everyone to have a good time. So we have we have also been making it a bit easier for newer players and for players who are still learning the ropes. That said, sometimes experienced players in high ranks will be like, this is unwinnable. I'm like, I think you could probably change your chat. So we do want it to be pretty challenging at the high end. Okay, well, this is why you need to get in the hot seat one day because True. you, oh yeah, I know. I'm you have to prove it. You have to prove yeah. that it's possible. That's right, well. Wow, look at these guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Look at all the shit. Yeah, look at my numbers. No, I think Probably not. Probably Boyne, isn't it? Boyne being crime. Boyne being crime. This feels like old school MMO strategy is like look at stack this. and destroy. Stack and destroy. Uh, do we think poison's a little overpowered? It really depends on who you ask. It can do a ton of damage, but I definitely know people who avoid it or think it's weak because the enemies get to attack first. Now, as a game designer, this is often what you call balanced. People think it's very strong. People think it's weak. It might be good. Armorer asks, will there be new books we can travel into in the future? New guardians and mobs and... Uh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yep. We are we are working on those things. Um, not... Oh, they're still for here. For sure. And... Plans awesome. for different colors. Uh, added interactions for pings, threads, targets, orbs, etc. Um, we're definitely working on pings in general. Um... Horror book one, maybe. Oh, oh wait, not, not, no, not this, not, not this not year, this not this year. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah but like anything there. But there was some plans for something. We have, we have some concept art somewhere. Um, uh, somebody also cheered us, which is really nice. Thank you so much, all of 2023. That's really, really nice of you. Fifty Shades of Grey when Armorer. No, I don't think this game is ever <laughs> right. Like, no, not those kind of books. Not not, uh, not, some, not those some kind of books. Yeah. Great Gatsby uh, at some point as well. I'm like. The thing is, the books are written by characters in the world. Like, so you have to, you have to be like, if we have S F Scott Fitzgerald in the world, then the Great Gatsby can be in the world. But we don't, at least right now, you know. So, um, it's not really about going to the actual literary books that exist in our world. It's going to the books written by these characters. Uh, that's it. We'll be introducing new characters. We'll be introducing new books and all sorts of things that are going to be happening as the story moves forward. Um, but unlikely to necessarily introduce that. Um, chance to get a list of augments so you can plant class builds. Yeah, we're working on that for the collection. Also, I think the wiki, there's been some, or there's like some guides posted already where you can find those as well that are already out there. And I think people can use them in Discord. Potential for a gunslinging class? I definitely potential for a gunslinging class. Uh, but I'm not going to spoil too much about aspects until we start actually talking about the things that are going to be coming. Um, Book that is just the diary of one of the NPCs in town. I love right. that idea. So, That's funny. So I like you, that. You have the food vestiges that clearly came from a cookbook. Uh, things like that. So, you know, there, there can be some variety there. Run. Die. <laughs> Why won't you die? Okay, wait, wait. So close. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right, you guys are doing pretty good. You're pulling it out of that I fire. I gotta restore. We are more. mid book two. It's okay. It's okay. One second burn. I'm chugging the coffee. Yes, that is true. I it's am going to be with you here at least this long. I've got a few things to finish today for planning, and then it's time to take a weekend. Ooh, damage resist. Thank you. Uh, it's Squip asks, how does the game scale for larger parties? It scales damage, mostly damage on those direct attacks because you get to shift them around, move them around to who you want them to hit. Um, a little bit on AE attacks, but mostly direct attacks, and then it scales health of enemies as well. Ooh. Um, is this for me? 
You guys? Maybe? Oh, why do I have caps lock on? Turn I shift? Pink pasta. Question mark, maybe. Um but whoever uses it best. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What is Burning Heart? You heal 50% da damage to enemies. Oh, sorry. You deal plus 50% damage to enemies inflicted with Burn. Right. So oh, that would be great. Burn actually. is on an enemy. You're going to deal a bunch more damage to them. So Ooh, that fantastic. One, that one's really good. Yeah. Um, squ uh, Pullman, plan support for modding community, in-game economy, Steam market platform. Also, I'll answer that in a second. Um, I might have to have you scroll up again. Love, oh, uh, and Zinxie asked, love the game so far. Quick question about maps. Plans making bigger obstacles, traps, etc. We definitely had, we had some like interactable things within the combat maps. Um, if that's what you're asking about. Um, that we'd like to return to. We also have like some kind of exploration areas. We didn't figure out the right way to do this. They got a little slow, especially in multiplayer. Just like people like branch off. It would really slow down runs. So we have to figure out the right way to do them. Um, both of those are really compelling ideas. We're going to return to some of these kind of core ideas and try to polish them for future seasons as well. I think they're all pretty good. Um, the other question was modding or open economy. Um, in terms of modding, it would likely be things that are like related to like interface and stuff like that. Um, obviously, we can't really impact gameplay too effectively. However, we do want to let you maybe do some custom runs or custom modifiers. We're working right now on daily challenges. Um, which are going to have mutators and are going to modify how runs work. And in Monster Train, what we did with that was we also let you kind of share mutated runs. So I could see us doing something like that as well. Um, in terms of the economy, I have worked on a game in the past that had an open economy. It gets a little funky. Like, it would be a little safer with this um, just because, like, obviously, there's like not power involved. That game hit power involved, so it got weird. Um, but we're more likely to do things like gifting, at least to start with for sharing things around and sharing things with other players. Um, it can be like pretty challenging, but you know, not totally against it. Obviously we're on Steam and they have those fu that functionality. So listen, you know, listen to what the folk out there want um, and see. Oh no, that's not right. Yeah. Uh, where is my mushroom? Oh, it's over there. Okay, it's still, it's still growing. Let's see, I want to try to get over here. Question um, from Ava Raz asking if we'll make a potion fish shopkeeper. Cool to have more choice over the potions. That could be cool. Um, not against it. Not against it. Yeah, the run quest done already. Ooh, more? Yes. Okay. I think this should be good. I can take Try TV says, can't wait for the French to arrive. Now there'll be more players. Yeah, localization stuff. Going to be working on that. Um, up, leading up to our full launch for sure. Uh, Friday Gear says, two big dev streamers are Warframe devs and us. Chance for crossover. Who knows? We don't. Can't say I know him personally, but you know, a uh, fan of the game. So. I'm going to take the mushroom. Hyper Pip, every way to scrap vestiges, scrap Earth Carver or something. Yes, we'd like to do that. I don't know when we'll get to. We've got a lot of things, obviously, we want to try to do, but um, that's been something that's definitely been asked for. It's like, something useful to do with vestiges if you want to sacrifice them for some reason, so. Can you kill them? Yes. Nice. Also, gotta I, watch think, out the I know, I just gotta, there's something that I got if I killed something. Wow, your health is back to full. Yeah. What? <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, it might be a healing aura, so maybe... Does anybody have... Do you have healing aura? Who is healing aura? That... That debox is healing aura. for rare events, says Temper Fluff. Yeah, that sounds good. Like, you know, something you've never seen before, definitely. And also just more events in general. Oh, yeah, debox um, Something yeah. we're working on as well. Ooh, uh, challenge of... A uh, chalice of champions or reduce the cooldown of your first binding you use by two <gasps> or golden sails. Is <coughs> oh, that would be really good if I had it earlier. How about this? I'm actually going to claim my reward first, see what I got on hitting, inflict one stack of shocked or really up my crit damage. Yeah, let's do that. I really like that usually. Let's do that. Let's replace that. When are we getting Patrick Stewart and Sean Bean? <laughs> what? Who says they aren't already in there? I know. <laughs> Maybe the power of AI. No, I'm kidding. That's that stuff's gross um, and weird. Um, that's a good question. We'll talk to them. Get our people to talk to their people. 
Uh, Donor's Doom will be opening a testing branch for new features to the public. Probably yeah. some version of it, especially for like these balance patches and these live patches. Uh, we're still figuring a lot of that out. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll likely have something. You guys got legendaries lying around. I don't know if I want this or not. This probably is good. Phelan made a small post in Discord. Thoughts on small replacement choices? You exhaust the augment drafting pool. That that is interesting. Um, and we've talked about like kind of more generic augments that can maybe apply to anything. So yeah, we're kind of figuring it out. We think that there's definitely room for improvement there. Ooh. Side and shadow. So yes, yeah, here we go. Is an aspect. I feel like I'm missing. I know. I don't know what that. But... Can't keep up with them all. Will there be font no, no. uh, options added in the future, says Plink? I think so. Really. Like, it's very, like, kind of core mechanic, but I can see us adding new types of stats or, you know, adjusting portions of that. Patrick, uh, reference to SpongeBob. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, let's do that. Another ability of power would be great. And... Or heroic vault. Heroic, or, oh, they want to get back to the bastion blotter. It looks like the ore pickups. Uh, it seems good to me. Uh, yeah, I can see how that could be true. Hmm. Grandpa doesn't know SpongeBob. <laughs> bastion blotter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's first set my little mushroom to grow, and then try to get... Mm, can't get both of them. Frustrating. Oh, come on. Uh, Brutal X says, plan to introduce matchmaking to have players group up. Um, yeah, I mean, we have this way to form open parties and join them. That said, I think we could do a little more to encourage like forming parties. We have the Clarabit of Daily Quests, which is one step towards that. Um, but I can definitely see us adding more reasons to it, especially with daily challenges. Um, so, yeah. Till Light asks, why is Burn stacking with Magma Miner so OP? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just is, you know, it just is. Um... I think there are just more Burn augments for Magma Miner. Extra Sonic says, how are the items going? Any vestiges that are not where we expect them to be with pick win rate? Um. Ooh, whoa! I was not paying attention. <laughs> I was not paying. I was. Death I, know, I was. Not. You at your own death puddle, and then you stood there. I know. Um, okay, no, let's not. There definitely. Are. I actually haven't dove into that super deeply right now. Um, we have a plan. Our design team is going to look at it next week. We're going to put together a balance patch based on all the data we've gotten from that, including the weekend. Um. So, yes, there's definitely vestiges that are under. Usually what we care about with vestiges is win rate more than pick rate, because pick rate could be low, but it's like secret tech, it's good, things like that. So we care about win rate mostly. All right, I want to have you scroll up just a little. Oh, yeah, what's up? Exciting. I want to see this one. This um, one? Yeah. Okay. Um, Rain Hayden is asking, uh, aside from the Steam discussions, Discord, we consider pushing for an official ding dis uh, Inkbound subreddit. You're currently gold free. Looking at quite a few folks are struggling. Um, Steam discussions kind of get good responses. Community growth to have. Yes. So uh, subreddits can be like a little culturally like they don't really like companies necessarily or, or official organizations necessarily run the subreddits. We'd be happy to swing by, support it in some way, maybe give some codes to give away if anyone wants to like start one up and make it the official one. Um, so we'd love to support it, um, but it's unlikely that we'd run it ourselves. Um, but we'll definitely like try to hang out and post there a bit and stuff like that too. So, you know, let us know if someone starts one, if you want to try to start one. Um, we'd also love to like, you know, write promote guides and things like that. And I think if people start doing guide videos, like here's how to start, you know, dipping into bronze and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, strategies we'll to think it, about, yeah. yeah, we'd love to promote it. I think, right. I think people would be interested also. It's like, yeah, how do you, you know, get good, um, so to speak. What is my physical Okay, we probably scroll back down. Oh, yeah. So we can get our chat. Okay. Shovely say, Gaming says, thanks for making the items appear in the shop. Much happy to buy what you wanted. Great. Yes, we heard the feedback on that. 
obviously we like made some assumptions like oh this could work didn't work so we heard the feedback and uh, it's just this pulling out everything is just it's so great up. um it's so so great and yeah yeah so it's all there obviously the store wasn't really designed to support it but we'll work on that we'll probably add some filtering and other stuff to it i don't know how much we're going to expand the store in season two necessarily we'll probably add a few new outfits or something but i don't think we're gonna we're not gonna like add a whole ton of things most likely um all right, here we go. Oh, geez, okay. There. So, yeah, totally, no, I'm glad that, and we appreciate the feedback on those MTX things. Obviously, we haven't really designed a game like this in those ways ourselves, so we were, we were like, looking at other games, and we thought, would be fine, or games we even play, and I'm like, oh, this feels okay, but we appreciate both letting us know how you guys feel, um, so we can make changes. So, Sorry, I'm reading through the... Doing all that, and... We're gonna work on the season pass changes so you can keep using them in future seasons. So don't worry about losing that either. Um, just no. <laughs> sort of things. Will you be able to ask? Will you be able to replace augments for bindings or fully augmented bindings? I think at some point we're gonna do it. We're not doing it for season two. It's gonna take some UI work. It's gonna take some interface work. Um, but we hear the feedback there on it. And we think it'd be cool. You know, uh, we just gotta figure out some challenges with it. I'm sure. Uh, friendly reminder to mention Scribbles. The folks have shown up since the start. Yes. What? They have to say Gimme Scribbles, right? Yeah, Gimme Scribbles. Hashtag Gimme Scribbles. Join the giveaway. We're going to do a giveaway at the end of the stream. We're going to give away some Chinese. We're going to give away some Scribbles. Yeah. So... But I got to keep you guys on your toes. So many people were just coming in and I guess just like popping in and leaving. Right. That's not how it works. <laughs> uh, what is... Here, let me, let me oh. scrub, Will. Just a... Okay. Sorry. Yep. Okay, cool. Just more chat. Uh... All right, we got someone who wants to run the subreddit. Sounds Woo! great. Awesome. Thank you. Wait, sorry. Was it Poseidon who said that they'll do it? Uh, might have, or someone else, I think. Okay. Anyway, we got. Now we're doing spams for entries again. It's, it's overrunning our chat. I know. I feel it's bad. It's not a better, better system. So it's okay. Uh, oh, you're taking a little more damage. Taking a little more damage. <gasps> Wait, why am I dying? Okay, 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 okay. Wait, okay. no, why am I still dying? Wait, you oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Someone else is gonna die. Okay. <laughs> see, that's the problem. I have I have such a close connection with the playtesters. They don't want to see me die. Right. They could. They're, <laughs> like, they're here to help. They're so great. What about the mushroom? Oh, it's down there. Shoot, okay. Let's see, I will go down there. Grab it. You're dying again. Oh, no, okay. absolutely not. I will not die. Just gonna feel some hurt. Sure. Get some burn. And then run away. <laughs> <laughs> if you die, I swear to God, I uh, I'm, 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 they're on your team. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Over Rare. You're fantastic. Um, whoever, but definitely please, whoever um, said that they would take care of the Reddit, just message me on Discord, please. I would love to say thank you personally. I just, you know. Oh, Kimmy's a treasure. You can't let her die. That's so sweet. You guys are amazing. Well, <laughs> maybe just this once. So frosty. They're really, like so angry. That's so fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I leveled but, up again. Thank you. Oh, this game was too hard. That's what I heard. Yeah, but these guys are so good. Very, it's yeah. not. You don't have. They're the ones who need to make the guides. They need to yeah, share. Yeah, it's. They played a lot. Uh, we got hundreds ooh, of hours. Bonk on. costs zero will the first time. I love that one. That is a great. You know, so you think, but we were can get a buff early game. We did. We did one buff in the patch that went out this morning, so it does a little more damage early game. It does a little more flat yes. damage. So, um, donor Doom, would you consider endless scaling past inkbound ranks? See how players can climb. That sounds fun. Future season mechanic for sure. Sounds like fun. Um, we definitely want to change up how it feels to climb those ranks as well um make sure it's all interesting in every season uh i'm rare you're fantastic is there a way to a view available augments for bindings not in game right now um yeah we're gonna do it it gets asked a lot uh until then check out the guides i think on steam or the wiki yeah there is a wiki i'm sorry i keep forgetting to post a we link add, to it I, add it to our links maybe just yeah so. i need to add I, I will and then i'll make an announcement about it there definitely is one and i'm 
sorry, I haven't been good about those links. I will do that. Now I'm gonna... Why can I not run away? Wait, where am I? You're behind it. I can't even... Okay, there we go. It's like... Okay. Links are kind of... Probably from other people. Oh, 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 oh. Other people can't. Can oh, 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 I see. Okay. Yeah, no, oh, I, I thought you meant on the Discord. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, just here. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, we had some bot, like, some spammers a while back or whatever, and ever since. How different will each season be um, from what we're looking at now, or at 1.0 launch from what we're looking at now? Um, it's a really good question. Once again, during early access, we're kind of figuring out our cadence a little bit, so we're definitely still going to do season mechanics, even during early access. It's going to give us a chance to figure out what's fun within that, what's not fun in, the, in those. Hopefully, they're generally fun. More fun or a little bit less fun. Um, and then we're also obviously expanding the game, but we want to continue expanding the game even after 1.0. Um, early access, yeah, it's a chance for us to learn some things around this update even more also we don't have some things like controller support localization stuff like that which is why we're in early access but obviously we do think there's enough content here to have a really good time um so we consider you know in some ways it's this like very soft launch and in other ways there's still these big meaty projects to do before 1.0 yes tempest wrap absolutely let's do that thank you so much mumsy fantastic uh how long are we streaming today so we're streaming until the end of run with Andrew, and then we'll be hosting one giveaway, and then Colin is going to come, one of our game designers is going to come on and talk about, like, some of the behind-the-scenes stuff with you, and you guys can meet him for the first time. That's his oh, first, first uh, yeah, first, uh, yeah, first oh, he's, stream he's ever. streamed before in life, but yeah. Yeah, um, and then we'll have another full new, um, like, a whole new giveaway during his segment. And I don't think I'll start it at the beginning. You'll have to wait until the end. I'm sorry, because it's this is a lot of spamming. Yeah. <laughs> that was my mistake. I'm so, so sorry. Well, yeah, we learn things. <laughs> yeah. Early access times. Or you learn um... things even after that. Um, but we'll do the giveaways soon. We're close to the giveaways for this session. We are almost done. We're going to hit the boss. They're going to die. It's going to be great. And then we'll do the giveaway. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Shelton, can we get a little marker in the corner of Augment that's still needed for quests? Yes, yes, we really want to do that for sure. So, on the list, pretty high. Um, fail win, speaking of Weaver buffs, Thread Gang 10 is nice. 10 design for the ability. Um, yeah, uh, that's a great question for Colin. So if you're willing to hang out, ask Colin a question about Weavers. He's been taking over class design in general, um, being a little more responsible for that, so... Will there be progression reset for 1.0? No. Yeah. No resets. Um, yeah. No, nope. you don't lose anything at this point. Everything you got is yours to keep. This is it. Um, Donor says, Donor Stoom says the spam is positive. The game's good. The scribble is cute. <laughs> it is positive. Uh, we'll just try to contain it, you know, put it in a little box. What is this? Time box. All right. What is bonus? Um, oh. Being hit gain three until end of combat. What would I give up oh, yeah, for that, one's though? Good. This one's very good. What would I give up for that? Maybe this? I'm being hit, gain one will next turn, once per um, turn. Nine Rapture, Vestiges don't reset in new seasons. No. The the core quests, the non-season quests, do not reset. Hey. Season quests are going to rotate out, so the current season quests themselves are just going to be gone. There's going to be new ones. Um, and then Milestones will hey. reset, so you can earn those points again. Um, but yeah, the, the Vestige unlocking quests are going to stay unlocked. They're kind of just like an onboarding intro experience. Um, we might be adding new vestiges, which would have new quests, obviously, but that's whatever. Ooh, here well, we go. That. Ah, that's terrifying. Okay. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. First. Get that burn. Yes. The giveaway has not yet happened. It has not yet happened. I'm absolutely going to get my 
Real Zamir, will there be a story reset alternate character option for players who missed the new voice dialogue? <sighs> That's a really good question. Right now, there's no real way we can do it, um, but we'll keep that in mind. I uh, appreciate the thought on it. I have to think about how we can do that. Uh, words are enough. It's the best that kind of gets higher. Are we adding options to lock this up? Yeah, like ban or uh, banish systems. Yeah, we definitely discussed on the design team. Um, I'm certain at some point we're going to add one. It's not currently on our roadmap for season two, but I think we'll, you know, at some point uh, definitely look at it. Seems like fun. Yeah, you hit a phase already. Taking no damage. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'll just. You guys are too good. Clearly, whatever you do, a shield. No. No, no nerfing. <laughs> <laughs> no more nerfing. Ooh, who's, who's do playing, I have any. Do I who's have playing any? the. Uh, um, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you already just hit. I think Ink found level is today, so. Oh, yeah, I guess we're on live, so Evox is the only Ink Bound that currently has yeah. in this party. What else are we. I'm gonna get out of this gunk. Uh, Shmebaluk says, are you guys planning on trying more than two book to run? Um, we really, like, our run length right now is about where we want it, or even a smidge long. So right now, we wouldn't just toss another book in there. Um, but another book seems fun if we can find a way to do it. So I, I think we're still going to keep experimenting with the run stuff. Again, across seasons. Um, so we'll see. Why do I... So, oh, okay, okay, now it's off. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Vbox says Tyler was down. Oh, no. <laughs> well, yeah. Vbox, you gotta sleep. You Please did it. sleep. <laughs> um, will the new aspects be showcased full in advance before release? Uh, or no showcase, asked Piper. Um, I think for now, we're probably gonna do some showcasing and some hype. Um, we might not show everything. We leave something, you know, there. Um, but I think we're gonna start teasing the seasons more than just like full dropping them. Uh, Freshy 3 ds you may have missed it, but any hints or thoughts as to what the record or book tabs will entail? The record tab is basically going to be like stats, like a combination of lifetime stats, like total levels ever earned, or like, and seasonal stats, like biggest crit done the season, stats of burn applied the season, stuff like that. Um, so it's going to be stat tracking and, and records. Um, the books one could be more about lore and backstory with probably some quest type stuff to it. Um, we're still working on that one a little bit more, and that could be a little more in depth. And, uh, just been sitting here with that one a little bit. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry about that. Also, I wonder if, like, maybe this boss needs a little adjustment. Yeah. Well. Is that better? It's probably better. Probably better? It's really low. I've got everything on really low yeah, right yeah. now. Is that better? You guys, please? Well, I think it's only when it gets hit, so you probably need to keep Okay. It. Okay. Hmm. I don't want. I don't want this guy to hit me. Um. <laughs> do one of these. Uh, and... can we give you any hints about the themes or characteristics of the new aspects? Nope, not yet. We will soon, though. We'll keep doing this. We, we're here every Friday. I'm here every Friday. Cammy's here other days as well. Yep, yep. Um, and you know, at some point here, we will start doing some hints, hint dropping. Um, but for now. It's got some more work to do. We might even show it at some point on no, the stage. No, so next we might have a little bit of it. Oh, like in a while. Yeah. Yay, somebody finally found the boop emote. Uh, oh, I'm so glad that it's, it's working. For some reason, I, it wasn't working for me earlier. I don't know. Yeah. Which um, is weird. I, I want to grab this question. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. no, a great emote. Uh, will there be balance patches within seasons or meta build be a thing for the whole season? A bit of both. We don't mind meta builds at all. That said, especially with this first season where we're still like, dialing in some of the really extreme outliers we'll probably do a bit more balancing i think even in future seasons we'll do some balancing um so we'll be working on that but we're not trying to get everything like perfectly perfectly balanced we're down some meta stuff and we intend to have a meta change uh we're done you're done we won you won we won oh my god it happened all right, all right. Wow. congratulations go team i can't believe it i can't believe it sorry <laughs> team faithful they pulled it off um yay all right let's let's do okay first let me do the uh manage the, or choose the outcome yeah. so i won <laughs> absolutely uh next week next week maybe next week, maybe happy to lose the points um, 
And yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone asked about like binding bloat, things like that. We'll rotate things out. The game is going to change over time. We plan on adding things that are designed even to be removed. So we have season mechanic ideas, things like that. So we want the game to feel fresh constantly. One of the main goals, one of the fun things about making it a roguelike. So. All right, yeah. so shall we do the giveaway? Remember that if you are a follower, I you have a slight you have a slight better chance at winning. All right. Oh wow, we've got nine hundred and eighty four. So what are we we're doing? Um, I don't, Chinese. What, what's the difference between those two numbers? I don't know. That's a great. That is a great question. I don't know. All right, don't worry about oh, it. Oh no 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 no. I do know. Um, it's uh first time people versus um not first time people. Because this also, they have like MooBot regulars, like people who uh, interact with the MooBot often. All right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> no, uh, I certainly, these are all, I just make games. That's easy. I do all this stuff. Um, okay. So um, how many are we doing? Five? That's what, that's what I've been doing. Three for Shinies, two for Scribbles. Do you want to do more since yeah, there's so many there's people? Yeah, people. Let's do um, four and three. Okay, so four for free shinies and three scribbles. Full scri thou art potato says full scribbles. I know. No, you okay? Those are no, no. You should definitely um, go yeah, support. Yeah, go watch. The, yeah, yeah, go watch our streamers. They've got a bunch of codes, you know. If they don't have codes, if you're watching someone playing, they don't have codes. We can get them codes. Yeah, get. Um, I can give them codes. Or if you are a streamer or any like, yeah, contact me. I will. I will get you. Uh, I will get you codes. We really want to support content creators, um, inbound content creators. So. Okay, I'm I'm closing it now. We're gonna draw. So this is for free shinies. Okay, Zomborkus. Oh, on Discord, please run in. Um, yeah, congratulations, you got some free shinies. Cat puppy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, free shinies for you. And for free shinies for Kazuo. Great. And free shinies for Huya. 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 Sorry. I, I'm trying. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. All, <laughs> All right, right congrats now. Congrats to the winners. All right, and now three, four scribbles. Shelton, congratulations. Therere, congratulations. And Arganista, congratulations. You guys have scribbles. Great. That's great. Funny. <laughs> that's funny. It's is so... that how you, you summon the scribbles? Yeah, that's how you, Super... yeah. <laughs> that's um, uh, also, as a reminder, if you haven't joined us on Discord, there's a special code there that will give you a reward, 300 shiny reward game. So go check that out as a thank you for early access and also a thank you for joining us on Discord. A little incentive to join the community over there. Uh, it's where we mostly hang out, talk about things, stuff like that. All right. Well, all right. that was great. Thank you for all the questions. I'm sorry if I didn't manage to get to yours. Um, we will. I'll be, I'll be back next Friday. Yep, next Friday. We'll do this again. Also around on Discord, places like that. Thanks for joining us on the also launch week. It's been great. Um, very exciting. A lot more to come. And don't leave quite yet. There is going to be... So Colin's going to join us or join me in a few minutes. I just got to get like a soda or something. Got to get something <laughs> to drink. And we'll have another giveaway at the end of his segment all right thank you so i'm gonna i'm gonna just do a little brb and then we'll get started
All righty. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So yeah. hi everyone. The stream continues. This is Colin. Um, do you, do you want to introduce sure. yourself? This yeah. is your debut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. My name is Colin. I usually go by Modus or Modus Ponens on the, the Discord. And yeah, I've been working here for the last while now. I've been doing the a lot of enemy encounters, difficulty, mutators, all that fun stuff. So trying to make sure that the the runs are fun and challenging, correctly challenging for the, the player skill level and just making sure that people have a good time. Uh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, so if you have any questions about um, the classes, game balance, um, I might actually adjust the lighting live because we have the skylight here and when yeah. it's noon, it like really casts these terrible shadows on us. So pop all your questions. The, also, the giveaway has not started yet, you guys, and the hashtag is going to be completely different. We, we learned our lesson from the last stream. We're not opening it till the very end. And, <laughs> um, okay, sorry, this is going to be so bright, but we have to counterbalance no the, the, this like overhead light that just really washes us out otherwise. Um, okay. Uh, bu, bu, bu. Scribbles or Riot. I love that. Yeah, that's you guys can keep guessing the hashtag. You guys, I do not think um, it's not even open yet. So I don't actually, or maybe I should open it and people could guess the hashtag. That'd be funny. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, no, no, no. Um, oh, Mumsy. Yeah, thank you. I've always had this piercing. It's just, it's, I'm so pale. It kind of blends into my skin. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, I've had this for quite a, a long time cosmic that's amazing that is not the hashtag but that's an amazing <laughs> whoever guess who, you know what whoever guesses the hashtag you know what i'm gonna they get a free scribble yeah i think whoever guesses the, the first guess. i know yeah <laughs> maybe i'll that's one good way to spam the chat i know but you know okay okay wait uh should i open it and then the person who gets with it will immediately get <laughs> sure. the yeah okay yeah. i'm sorry okay uh yeah you guys are not gonna okay all right it's open you guys have done it you guys can guess the hashtag all you want i almost guessed it unless oh shit no oh no 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 it did the ah <laughs> unless oh no 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 all right no absolutely not i am not okay i am closing this ah oh, you guys no oh i messed this up i was so excited oh well <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, I know. Move on. I didn't. I forgot to. Uh, oh well. Okay. Anyway, we have got uh, some new play testers. Dbox Thanks. obviously was here last time, but Dan Wolf, who has this amazing stream. Dbox, there should be Keith, aka KG the Jerk, who is joining too. Um, but. God, you guys. Okay, I have to maybe pause this. Can I <laughs> pause this? This is ridiculous. I know. I got I'm sorry, you guys. I am closing this giveaway. We're gonna restart this at the at the end because you guys are just gonna spam, and Colin's not gonna get any questions. So I'm closing it. It is closed. Okay. I did Don't... see a question about yeah. the clairvoyant orb. I know we're doing something currently. I don't know if Andrew talked about it yet, but. To make sure that you can visualize it a little bit easier where you're moving the orb to so yeah yeah um That's quite a bit yeah i agree clairvoyant it's a lot of fun but yeah it's it's sometimes hard to tell with uh where the orb's going uh, that's a long question <laughs> um fail fail win asked hey colin i was recommend test oh, okay you already did this one okay great yeah so how about this? How let's get things started with. So when you first started, what was the class that you first started working on here? Uh, well, I haven't really done too much class stuff yet or aspects. Oh, you were doing. Yeah, uh, I the... was mostly on the enemy yes. design and boss design. So there, everything was kind of like in a very base stage, I would say. So I was trying to figure out. I started with Argoloth. He was my first sort of oh nice baby, oh, I guess. really <laughs> so oh, like everything yeah. kind of existed in like a visual form but there was no design for it whatsoever yeah so i had to come up with some yeah you know, just how the the gameplay worked um I would, it was good like i would say our the most straightforward villain 
and I think it was he's changed over time, of course, but it's a it was a good way to learn about just like how many different like mechanics a boss should have, mm, a villain should mm-hmm. have. Yeah. What's the sort of like cadence of how a player interacts with it? I think there's lots of different ways to do it, but he's kind of the most straightforward and uh I like it too because it has a different sort of shaped arena as well. Yeah. It's something I wanted to mess around with. And oh, yeah. I think it's something that I'd like to try to do more in the future too, just to shake what, things up. What shape are you talking Like, are you well, going to do a crescent like, moon? The, it's more on the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe crescent moon, maybe yeah, like, like a longer arena. Something not as circular shaped would be cool. <laughs> that's actually a really good point. I, you know, it's one of those things that I've always obviously noticed because you're obviously interacting with the arena. Yeah. But somebody says helix shape. That is amazing. I love that idea. I want bigger. Armor says I want bigger arenas. Yeah. yeah. Um, I did just kind of nerf the fight so there's no longer the, the global eruption attacks anymore because we got a lot of feedback about that. Where yeah. For I some- think it, like, balance wise, it wasn't too crazy. It's more. Like, balance is a lot of, like, it's, like, half how people feel about it, half how it's actually, like, is it doing enough damage? Is it yeah. like, killing people enough? Like, overall, the damage wasn't too crazy on Argolath compared to the other villains. Okay. But, yeah, it's more of a feeling thing. It just kind of sucks when it's just, like, oh, here's 15 incoming damage that you can't do anything about. So, yeah, in that sense, I just changed the attack so it no longer does the AoE, but now that the tentacles, they start with a little more damage oh. naturally. Okay. So it's more, like... Players have more control over how they can kind of in- deal with the encounter, which I think feels better. Armorer says, Colin, you seem reasonable. <laughs> I love this. Um, I thought you were also working on Cinder. Uh, yeah, I, I did Cinder work as well. Cinder kind of existed in a very like base form originally, so I didn't try to change too much. Uh, I mainly did the this Cinder Pox effect okay. that exists oh, now nice. in the fight. Yeah. Which, yeah, it's... I think most of the villains have kind of like this interesting core mechanic now, which I think is a good way to approach them. It gives them a bit more depth of like just what you, how you deal with it. I think maybe the weakness is that we don't really teach it super well before you fight them the first time, which is is good and bad. Like, I think it's kind of okay in rogue games because they're, they're games that are built on knowledge. Like as people get, as they understand the mechanics more, they can understand how to deal with certain counters better. So, Mm -hmm. um, I think it works fine in that respect, but it probably makes sense to try to teach that mechanic earlier in some form. Um, but yeah, we did just make some changes too, where it's so it lasts a little bit longer and you have uh, more more time to cleanse the effect. Ooh, Failwin says, would you be willing to consider multiple separated platforms with a will cost <laughs> means to traverse them? And while you're answering that, I'm going to check on our other playtester who we're waiting for. And if not, then we are going to get started. Ooh, okay. Yeah. All right. We got Uh, got it. Yeah, I guess. So my response to that would be, that sounds cool. I think there's something that you could potentially do there. I would uh, be wary, I suppose, of like, does it feel too, like, binary? Like, I just have to change the platform because something's happening on that specific one. So is there... There just need to be enough reason that you would like maybe want to stay on a platform versus changing platforms in that case. That would be my game design response to that question. Um, Old Cypher asks, I wanted to know, are you planning on returning enemies doing actions after you do X actions as in as it was on beta? It was a really yeah, cool thing. That was a that was a pretty big change. I was originally more in favor of like I there's a good reason to keep it because it makes it more interactive and we did keep it in some sense in that there's countdown attacks now so enemies can basically like buff or debuff or do something when you do some amount of countdown actions but they won't attack you or play an animation and that was mainly due to like multiplayer it just got super messy and confusing and hard to play around so now we do more so like, they just get stronger they get a shield they get something when that happens um I think as far as like them doing an ability again when you do X amount of actions probably won't come back, but I think we can get more creative with what we do do when that countdown does happen. Ooh, Ern asks, are there any play- plans for layers of strategy in addition to vestiges and augments, pre-game choices, gear loadouts, or other systems? 
Uh, I'll say yes. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to. Yes, you don't want to leak anything on stream. Yeah. I mean, I do, but I won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure I will. I'll try not. I know. Don't worry. Andrew has definitely leaked yeah. quite a bit on stream once or yeah, yeah. once or twice. Even Mark. So that's okay. Do not worry. This is yeah. yeah. But yeah, have a. Well, I'll try to keep you honest. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we talked about that. So Ooh, yeah, I like lots that. of things coming up for yeah. sure. Yeah um should we expect any new books vestiges mutators bindings to drop this season so do you mean season two or will most new things come out with the new season uh i think everything on this season it's like it's pretty it's like you yeah know, yeah i would say for now new things will be in new seasons um but i don't know that might change so yeah um, are there any cosmic vortex? This is a great question. Are there any plans to expand the, and also thank you for highlighting your questions, you guys, this is really helpful. Um, are there any plans to expand the MMO areas of the game, either with expanding the Athenium or with adding other, another area in later seasons? Ooh, that's a great question. Uh, we've talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think there's like varying degrees of how much people want to do it. I would really like, personally, I would like more to be able to see like chat bubbles above people's head in the Athenium, but I don't know. We all have That's our it, yeah. wants and wishes and stuff, so who knows what will actually happen. But yeah, I think, I mean, we talked in the previous stream, talked about like how in Halloween and Christmas, like yeah. things will change. So I'm, definitely yeah. that stuff is, is planned. Um, Absolutely. As far as like expansion, we'll see. Um, can we get uh, AK Pullman? Can we get some way of carrying some extra inactive, inactive vestiges in the hope of better synergies later on in the run? So, like, just extra slots? Do you, is that, do you think that's what uh, I think they mean, like, vestiges that don't necessarily do things early, but get oh. stronger uh, Yeah, I think that's cool, for sure. I was a big proponent of, like, I like the growth vestiges, like, things that start weak or do nothing and then eventually get really strong later. Um, one of the... The big ones, I guess, is like Chalice of Champions, where it's just like you get stronger if you consume things. I, that one was kind of a two-parter. Like I like growth things, but I also like the fact that you're rewarded for using consumables. Consumables are always super hard, and that like people just hold on to them. Yeah. And like, oh, I'll use it at oh. the, the final fight, but that's it. Well, so just more ways to kind of incentivize people to use things, I think, are good. Yeah. Well, somebody mentioned in the previous stream, like maybe legendary fish and stuff, and I have to admit that I keep the fish for as long as possible because yeah. I don't think I'm getting another one. And also, since they're so rare, even an uncommon fish is super worthwhile for me to like yeah. hold on to it. But if you got a legendary one, you'd probably be more likely to hold well, on yeah, to it. Well, yeah, but that'd be later. I'd be like, oh, I want to use up these for my uncommon fish yeah. because I know I there's a chance that I might get my legendary fish True. later on. So um, I love Cosa TV's uh, uh, idea of high low loves the idea of a high low ground to add some verticality that is amazing uh the da, da, da. rare says they would want to make okay sorry that was part of a thread <laughs> let's see do we have any devox says are there any plans to work on new bosses that is a great great question if yeah. so adding new <laughs> villains likely. or working on new books with their new bosses or their bosses yeah i would say i'm question. not going to answer like that question directly but i think that villains could definitely change more in how you encounter like normal fights have more variety in that like how the mutators work and how the challenge buffs work and i think villains sometimes start to feel like they don't change as much so i i definitely agree that i think there could be more differences in those fights but yeah, I think more fights too would be cool as well. Ooh, Steampunk asks, do you think there's any design space for one summoning slash charming enemies mechanic or, or sorry, and two, a character that hurts itself to deal more damage than he, then heals off hills? Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, summoning and charming is hard, I would say. I think there's, it could definitely happen at some point, but I think that's harder in the, I would say like one of the main kind of core design things we always think about is multiplayer. So if we have like, we don't increase the amount of enemies that you fight. So if like charming things takes an enemy off the board and you have four charming classes, then how does that work? Probably makes the players oh. too strong in that case. So summoning, I think sounds better, but summoning would probably not need to like have the enemies attack that summoned unit too, because then you just tank everything with the summoned units. Right. So maybe like the best way to think about that is like, if you had four of these, how would that break the game? 
is that the consideration when you guys are approaching a new class it's like is that like kind of the yeah the of... yeah we definitely think about multiplayer as a core part so we need to make sure that it won't but specifically if you guys are like okay like what is the what is the balance going to be like you guys always consider okay like at what like it's going to be let's say four magma miners what is that mm -hmm. going to feel like versus yeah. like one of each yeah, yeah. i would okay. say like magma miners not very dangerous yeah. as far as like balance <laughs> goes because magma miner is pretty straightforward it like maybe Magma Miner breaks things in terms of just like generating a lot of quillings. Like what does generating a lot of quillings do? So that's like good to sort of learn that balance side of things. But it doesn't have the capability to just like take an enemy off the board. And we, yeah, we like we don't spawn more enemies for multiplayer for, yeah, a variety of reasons. So. Mm, okay, yep. could we start? Let's start. Okay, so I think... KG might not be able to join us. So let's start this run. Devox, yeah. Dan Wolf, are you guys? Are I think guys the chat's ready? also a lot oh. farther down. So ah. far, oh my God, you guys, so. oh wow. Okay, yeah, because yeah, there's been a lot of questions. Can we get a vestige, like a fishing rod that gives us fish? Uh, like we have the alchemist tool, tool belt to give us potions. Yeah, that sounds cool. Uh, okay, also, what difficulty do you want us to play today? Uh, whatever you guys feel comfortable with. I'm actually going to also fine. change my... I don't have everything unlocked from this time. Um, is there one in particular you want, you feel? I think Moss Cloak. Okay. Okay. Very well on. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Okay, let me see what... Um. I've been enjoying okay, the got... critical damage. Here we Moss go. Cloak, which I think is very strong. I, the weakness definitely with Moss Cloak is mitigation and just you can take a lot of damage, but... Uh, like, oh, no, that'll be like a nice fall. Here we go. You can also kill things before they kill you. Let's see. And then I want to make sure. No. Let's see. Like a little bubble. I'm going to try to go for like a softer look with this guy. Oh, yeah. Like running through the forest, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Red Ready to Murder something. Murder. Yeah, I know. As I. Yeah. And then I got my little. Okay. Oh wow. Uh. Oh my if god. If you click the chat, yeah. pause you to scroll that shit. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry if I missed your question because yeah. we, yeah. Um. I learned about the rank up and rank down commands in the last stream. Are there any other useful ones for the players to use? And I think we're gonna do inkbound for sure. Dbox. Let's let's do this. Uh, yeah. Wait. Luck. Do you want it? Wait. Yeah, yeah. Please do. I okay. Need, uh... All right. You need the you need the data. Yeah, I do Actually, need the data um actually that is a great uh some people have asked about like the background um like sort of like what is happening on the back end uh for your analysis and stuff of like what's you know like your i don't know like can you talk a little bit more about like how you guys balance using data or like what what does it kind of look like on the back end for you uh designers yeah i mean if you have specific questions that would definitely help but we we just get a lot of data as far as like win rates and pick rates and like how much damage a specific encounter deals or how many people lose to this encounter and then we use that data in aggregate to make some decisions but also it's, it's a combination like we definitely listen to people and like hear what they're telling us and then for just like more like tuning things, I would say, like just like changing some numbers up and down. We uh, look more at, I would say, the data as far as just like overall win rate, death rate, <laughs> stuff like that. And if, also we have like information on like how many things, how many times certain things are picked. So if, like for an event, we can tell, a sea breach, we can tell how many times people have picked a certain thing. So if, it's okay if things like aren't picked very much, that's definitely fine. But if it's never picked, that's usually a, a sign that something needs to change. Um, or if it's always picked, that's a sign that's just like too good. Here, do you want to take this question? The which one? Sorry. Oh, this one. Sorry, right here. As I choose which mutator. Uh, yeah, quality of life improvements for aiming things. I I definitely have some ideas. Um, I think. We can do something there for sure. Uh, a few ideas have surfaced. So I would say, yes, we're looking at it. We don't really have any um, specifics, I guess, we can talk about yet. But I, I agree with that one for sure. I think there's things we could do that would make it better and take less, like, fiddly, just, like, going back and forth to get the perfect shot. 
Oh, Mumsy said Tarnished Shrine could get a, a buff. That's a good point. Actually, I just thought of something that would be a good tip for people to know um, on like on the same vein as rank up and rank down. If you press mm -hmm. Z, you can see your stats. Yeah, that's a great a little shortcut for that. That's Z. And also this, a lot of people don't know that you can see your party details. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I forget about that one, too. The stream. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, <laughs> you guys. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I got so into it. I'm so, so sorry. Okay. So. There it is, stats. <laughs> so people oh my god, I'm so, so sorry. I was like, deep play, why is everybody, why is everybody just shouting? There it is, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish. Without a little skin. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, looking at Cammy's even better. Thank you, that is so, so sweet. I am so embarrassed. I got so into, like, trying to keep up with the chat and everything. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. That's so embarrassing. Um, I was I was kind of setting things up. I, I had it on full face because we were still waiting for one of our playtesters, and then I forgot to shift it over when um, uh, we decided to start the run. But thank you. And I'll also, hello. Hi to some of the newcomers and some old old people. Not old people, some veterans. Hi, Casper J. It's really great to see you. And also, Crescent. Crescent. It's really, really great to see you. And Next Dragon. Hi. And thank you for chatting for the first time. Um, there is a giveaway that's going to be happening at the end of the stream. Uh, we learned our lesson, or I learned my lesson in the last stream, that you guys tend to spam this chat yeah. <laughs> immediately. There's, there's gonna be some people spamming regardless. Yeah, of exactly. Way happening or not. So um, we're gonna do it at the end. So stick around, and then you can enter, and we'll be giving away more stuff. I bar barely learned the lesson. <laughs> yeah. um, sorry, were you answering a question before? Oh, we... okay, so. okay, good. I'm so I'm sorry about that. I forget now. Okay. I think I can kill this guy. Yeah, there we go. And then I will get out of the way. So yeah, here's exactly one of the things you were just talking about. I got fish. I'm going to hold on to this fish for as long as I can because yeah. I know I think, I'm not going to get I mean, another one. The way I generally use it is there's enough potions that I usually use my fish if I get multiple potions. Or I try to save it for a guardian fight when I know it's going to be more difficult. Or, or if I'm like... I usually greet it pretty hard and try not to heal myself, and then I will use it maybe for a hard encounter before a guardian fight, just so I can like not heal and get more power. It's bad. But yeah, I, I would not use it at this point. It's not really worth using for the first encounter, I would say. Oh, Sigma has a great question. Are you guys looking for more playtesters? Um, there was talk about that maybe. Yeah, I think Andrew. More up to yeah, you. I think that's Andrew. Yeah. That is a great question. Yeah, I will our playtesters, like the internal squad, is, is great. They have given us so much fantastic information and just opinions that help a lot with designing. Ooh, Caslo, uh, that's a great question. Design-wise, are you looking for players to re-roll until they get a viable build, or should they be trying to play the hand they're dealt? Yeah, I think it's it's definitely a middle ground. Like you know with how glyphs work now that they're the the main reroll currency, I would say, uh, that you should definitely reroll if there's things that don't work for your build, for your build at all. But also, there's you know situations where you should just take the hand that you're dealt if it like sort of works for you because you want to save your glyphs or you just run out of glyphs. I would say, um, I think like rogues kind of become too simplistic and easy. There's a potion thing to your left, by the way. Oh my god, thank you. Yeah. That uh, if, if you can constantly reroll and get like the same build every single time, it it feels kind of boring. So ideally, we want to hit the middle ground there, I would say. So you can reroll somewhat and uh, hit, a, hit a good build, but maybe not the ideal build. this and I'll actually give myself a little heal because I was not paying attention. Yeah. That's what happens when you stream. I know. <laughs> Streaming and playing games is, is difficult. Um, ooh, okay. I've heard a lot of discussions about common augments and to lesser extent vestiges and how they might feel too inconsequential over the grand scheme of a run as they are now. Are there any plans to change those up? Yeah. I, that's harder. I think we probably want to buff some of them for sure. Um... There's definitely some opinions internally on that. 
I would say it's it's okay that like some things are weaker and that feels kind of like we don't want to feel bad to pick them up, but I guess if they feel like they're taking up slots of like other better things later on. Like as long as you're not fully augmenting everything and those common slots are like taking up, you know, slots for better augments later on, I think it's okay. But if you are getting enough augments that it, you just like build up and you have these uh, white common augments that don't feel good, that's not the best situation. I mean, you can you can kind of like bypass it by picking fewer augments, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I think I think there's just the first thing we'd probably address is just making sure that the common augments feel a little bit better to pick up. It's okay, I'll take a little bit of damage, that's fine. I have... This isn't something that we're planning, but I, I proposed an idea too. This might be fun for like a sea breach event that gives you another slot for an augment. So you could have like four augments. Whoa! I'm always about these like fun ways to, to juice an ability even more, so... Does anybody in the chat, yeah, yeah, Thou Art Potato says, whoa, that sounds amazing. That'd be so cool. Yeah. The, yes. Oh, people are And you could choose, <laughs> yeah, so you, would it be now a brand? I you know that yeah. <laughs> people are clamoring for it. Is this your crowdsourcing, like, way of yeah. like, getting I people behind, or, like, your, your yeah, grassroots campaign? Yeah, totally, like, seed an idea. I would love that. Four augments, I should have, you haven't seen me at <laughs> five augments then. <laughs> That would be amazing, and you could choose which one gets it, or would it be random? Yeah, pro I don't know. Maybe oh, yeah. it depends on the event. Maybe like the, the medium option lets you randomly get it if you spend like something expensive. You get to choose which one gets it, something like that. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do increase range. I always love increase range because then I don't have to stand in an enemy's circle of hell. Okay, are there any differences between fish and potions, or is it just mainly a visual choice? Like, what decides if a certain effect is a potion or a fish? Oh, you, you mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, the main mechanical difference right now is that fish just last the whole encounter, and potions are a one-turn thing. I would say, like, beyond that, there's not too much difference. Um, I guess fish are... I don't know, the, the power level kind of varies, for sure. Some of the fish are a little weaker, some of them are a little stronger. Maybe we should make some legendary fish. And yeah, fish can also be used outside of combat, so it's... There's definitely a way to, like, yeah, if you find another potion when you have a fish, you can just use that fish and then take two potions into the fight. Yes. Ah, oh, the ink pots. <laughs> the ink pots got all buffed quite a bit. I know, it's like... Live virgin, which is... They needed it, they're a little weak. And they're yeah, also... this is a lot, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the jumpers, too, I think, are the other enemy that... We're like, what else can we give them that makes them feel a little bit more... I do not want that. Um, a little tougher. Because they just kind of jump around and don't do direct damage. Armorer says, increased range is incredible. In my opinion, the common augments sh should be mostly increasing range and stuff. I agree, personally. Yeah. But I'm just a player. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, no, I, I, can, yeah I completely agree. I love it. I, I, I would yeah. say, like, I take base damage a lot because I think oh, a yeah, little bit of base yeah. damage helps... Especially solo play, like when you know the, the health thresholds, like having a little bit more base damage can push you over the edge to getting the killing blow on something. And then base damage also just scales well. I think uh, crit, crit chance has come up a lot. It's like feeling like a little underwhelming, so I wouldn't be surprised if we buff that up so it felt better to like stack a little bit of crit chance early on. Because then at least it can like build into something later. I think the ones that feel bad, it just feels like you're kind of wasting it, or it doesn't necessarily build into any yeah. like, cool like synergies later. So if crit damage or crit chance is higher, then it wouldn't feel as bad because then maybe get like more crit damage later, and it feels fun to yeah. Um, first time chatter, X Madroxy. Hello, first of all, welcome. H um, how many difficulty levels will there be? Like total? Are you guys thinking of doing like ranks, like past inbound, or? Uh, we haven't talked too much about it. I'm sure we'll change ranked mode and just, like, what the difficulties entail and potentially do more ranks. Um, it's just not something we've talked about too much yet, but I definitely would not be surprised if it was changed. Over oh, no. I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah, you're in the... Okay. No! It's a lot of puddles. Ah, uh, okay, well, that's fine, because we're not... We... I have not done a prediction, so... I can die all I want yeah. this time around. <laughs> Nobody's gonna lose any points. 
Um, what about the ability? No, I know. It's, oh, wait, I'm not gonna die. Fantastic, thank you guys. What about the ability to give up an item slot for another augment slot yeah, on the ability? Yeah, that's interesting. Ooh. Um, oh. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa, <laughs> would, that be like a, would that be like an early run decision? Where you're like, you know what? I think this run, I'm gonna be like, I'm only yeah. gonna have, yeah. I mean, sea breaches, we, we have, the like we can determine if they only show up in the first book or the second book. So that could potentially be like a later book thing. My design critique would be like, do we want people to not use both their consumables? Like we kind of want to drive people to do it. I, I get where you're coming from now. Like it, it would require a cost to improve the capabilities of that ability. So like design wise, that makes sense. Now that I'm not, now that people's channel points aren't on the line, I think I'm gonna go a little bit more aggro. Yeah. And just die a few times on this <laughs> screen. Sense. That's okay. <laughs> um, you got restoration too, so you can just help your friends out. Um, I Casper J uh, mentioned Monster Train, which reminded me of another question that I forgot to answer, which was about replayability. How much? How do you think the replayability for this game is compared to Monster Train? Um, I think I mean they're both rogues, of course, so. They have a lot of sort of inherent replayability. I I think that's kind of determined by how much like how different each run can be and how much we push you to play different runs. I think Monster Train has like the benefit of just being out there for longer, but we're definitely adding way more content. So I think in the long term, this game will have more replayability, but potentially for now, it's uh, Monster Train just has a little bit more content. That said, like you love probably already played monster mm. train so maybe this one has more replayability currently oh a question for me armor asks what class is your personal favorite and why do you specifically main a specific uh class more than another or how do you feel about people choosing their main classes interesting um okay first part of that question what's my favorite class Ooh, i feel self-conscious over <laughs> answering that in front of one of the designers yeah. Um, I didn't I, work on them, so yeah, you didn't work on them. Great. I know. I guess it's like Albert that if yeah. he's in, if he's, I just gave feedback. I know if he's like in the ch watching right now, I feel so bad. Um, right now, I okay. It so uh, that 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 answer. My answer is a little bit complicated in the sense that it depends what my goal is for the run. So like, if I want a run that's going to be a little bit more brain like brain power and i have to think a little bit more i go clairvoyant because it's really like you have to like move mm -hmm. and you have to like really think about where you're where you're placing things and also where you're placed versus a shard globe um and there's also the psionic charges which are really fun but if i'm just trying to like grind then obelisk definitely because you can do if <laughs> yeah, you like get sense. yeah like if you get really beefy and then you could just like clear of the combat arena immediately yep. then i can just like not worry about getting hit and it's just amazing yeah obelisk gang exactly <laughs> yeah i had a run earlier today where i was like i'm pretty sure i'm gonna lose and then my three ability came up and was yes. on crit and it's like it just killed everything <laughs> exactly it's amazing <laughs> like, okay i guess i just win that fight instead of dying exactly i'll take it but i think clairvoyance definitely the most like and Weaver. Weaver is yeah. like another one that's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna like. Yeah, I think Weaver, it just scales so incredibly mm, well. Mm -hmm. And we we did patch Thread to do a little more damage, so it helps our early game. Try to... But yeah, I've been enjoying Moth Clip too, because we increased crit uh, chance and damage on the fonts a little bit right before launch, just to help them out. And if, if you have certain builds that have a lot of crit, it just does disgusting damage. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. Okay, I think this would be good. And then I can grab this. And then I can get out of the way. Okay. Ooh, I even have... Give me a little boost. Fantastic. After image blink and restoration are game winning. Exactly. Yeah, I've been using Blink a lot. Just if you get the orb creation on Blink, it's uh, it's extremely good. It just pays for itself. Well, it gives you extra energy even or will, so it's super powerful. But that's a purple upgrade, so it's not necessarily guaranteed. Yeah, I have noticed that. There we go. Look at that. That's amazing. All right, keep the questions coming, you guys. Colin is not often on the stream. <laughs> 
I'm sure I'll be back. I know. Oh yeah, you'll be back. Don't worry. But <laughs> this is um. Any plans to, for abilities to have effects that scale off of X amount of will? Ooh, like for example in Monster Train. Yeah, I mean, no plans, but that sounds cool. We could definitely do something like that. Uh, I wish that there was an item that changed your dodge to also dodge AOE attacks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a change we did. Um, I, it was kind of a balancing, it was definitely a balancing in that like, since I'm coming more from the enemy side of things to make sure that they're not just, like, completely useless, like, they can't do anything to the players. If there's, like, the capture, for example, if you can dodge AoEs and it's just the capture left, then you basically, like, the capture cannot do anything to you. So that's, it's a harder balance situation, I'd say, if it just dodges everything and then there's, we want to make sure that there's enough sources of it that, like, feels fun, so... In that case, like, we either, like, limit evasion more, or do we change how it works a little bit so it just works versus direct attacks? Um, in this case, we decided to just make it work versus direct attacks, which I think, like, thematically kind of makes sense to me, at least, that, like, if it's a big explosion, you wouldn't feel a necessarily, like, shift out of the way versus, like, someone directly hitting you. Um, but, yeah, I think, too, it's come up quite a bit that it's, like, a little... It's one of the harder mechanics to understand, so we definitely need to do a better job of, like, showing how it'll work and explaining how it'll work. Um, for, 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 not yet. Yeah, I have to keep the I have to keep the keyword secret from you guys. Um, you did not work on Monster Train. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, you were brand new. Feedback. Yeah, I, I sent feedback in for it, so I, I don't know if I'd be able to answer that one. Um, yeah, Colin's been working with us for less than a year right yeah, i've been about seven i think almost eight months eight months yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so super yeah yeah relatively new so do you guys have i did beat all the like covenants or covenants. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah yeah all the covenants and monster trains so i'm uh i'm well versed in rogue gameplay i would say it's Easy. Wait a second, that just hit me. You beat all the Covenants in Monster Train? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It was part of the application process. No. <laughs> Probably a bonus, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, by the way, I... Is he not taking damage? Oh, no, he is. Okay, good. I just am taking damage yeah, from yeah. being in the... In the goop. Okay. Ooh. Light. What did the design conversations look like? Um... Ooh, okay. Re, like cho regarding choosing which vestiges should be unlocked when, were there considerations regarding which would be the default unlocked vestiges versus the one uh, carry? Yeah, there were some conversations. I think we've definitely talked about that we want to change some around now that we've like seen it more. And that it, it's hard because we get kind of used to certain things, and I would say like we're just used to playing with all the vestiges, so sometimes the order in that they get unlocked is not ideal. Uh, specifically, like there's a vestige that makes might trigger twice but you get that inherently versus another vestige that might make like it just like does this might thing so i think like the order of some are a little off and hopefully we'll change it up at some point um what is an outburst and then i think it's something too that we'll just get better at and then like it, when we have fewer vestiges to work with it'll be a bit easier so if there's like 20 it's like a lot easier to plan out a kind of more logical unlock uh, pathway compared to just 200 and where it's like uh just do your best uh and then there's a question about combining mm -hmm. vestiges that's that's definitely been something that's been talked about internally uh I, I think everyone thinks it's, it would be cool. It's just kind of a hard thing to plan for. Like how, it's kind of uncommon to get both of them. So like maybe a sea breach wouldn't be the best way to do it, but maybe there's some other bed, better way to kind of make it function. Oh, China 15 Y. I asked about Chinese localization. Um, there's interest, but that probably won't be until one. Yeah, point. I mean, that's probably yeah. more of a yeah. mark question. I, Definitely something we want to do, for yeah. sure. And, like, there's a lot of people that care about localization a lot. And it, it makes a lot of sense for just reaching other markets. So, yeah. I think it's definitely something we'll do at some point in the future. But I don't know exact timeline for that. Um, 
Thank you, uh, Quixonic. I'm sorry to see you go. There will be more giveaways in the future. Do not worry. We're still going to host the Wednesdays and Friday streams. So do not worry. Uh, Cosmic Vortex, are the plants that had a farmer class that just plants different boons? <laughs> uh, no plants, but who knows? Maybe someone will write a book about Ooh, farming. Will, will be this. Will there be a summoner class? I think we talked about this a little bit. Or uh, yeah, I mean, I just briefly mentioned it. I think if it's if like the thing you summon doesn't necessarily take aggro, or it's somehow connected to like player health value, if like you just summon things that do damage to stuff, that's a lot easier. And I think that could definitely be a thing that we do. Um, but if it's like summon a tanky creature that blocks everything for other people that, that's a little bit harder um but I, I know people love summoner classes and things of that nature so yeah it'd be cool to do for sure Yeah, the goop. Okay, there we go. And Lights. I will, since I'm still the one with the lowest HP, I'm slowly gonna try to rebuild that in combat. Hey, love shiny shoe. Thank you, Mumsy. Uh, the giveaway has not started. We are, <laughs> we are waiting until the end. That is fine, KG. No problem. That is more important. Definitely buy <laughs> Inkbound for your friends and teach them or help yeah. them to play through a ranked run. That is definitely more important. <laughs> Um, somebody, Squeegee, says needs to make the goop more noticeable. <laughs> Maybe it needs to, like, expel you out of it if you're in there for too long. It just, like, throws you out. No, I'm kidding. It's just, like, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, uh, bup, bup, What else is there? Yeah, definitely keep asking. These are great questions, actually. Yeah. Wow. So, like, I love how in-depth we're going here. Mm -hmm. Okay, not gonna step in the goop. Not Very gonna step in the goop. Crab. I know. Everybody's super. You get a deterministic road game, that's what you get. Just smart people. Okay, now I get out. Now I'm out. Ah, no, I'm not. There we go. Woo, here we go. Uh, highest rank right now is Inkbound rank, so it's after Platinum. So there's three ranks of each uh, Bronze, Silver, Gold, and Platinum, and then it's Inkbound rank. Seasons planning on lasting. Uh, I'm not sure if we've talked about that too much. Maybe Andrew said something. A little bit, but they might be a new. Uh, they might have just joined. So the they're supposed to be around three months, right? Approximately about three months. And actually, that is a great segue to my follower goal, which is that if we can get to 2,000 followers before the end of the season, I've talked to Andrew about a special giveaway that we'll do for the oh. for our followers. <laughs> And why would we need new followers, you may ask? Because this is a studio, official studio um, Twitch account. It's because this is like one of our main core, our main ways of showing off what's the the new changes and keeping uh, the community up to date. So I want to be able to have as many people here that like we can reach and keep people up to date. Like for example, on when, uh, yesterday was like, I mentioned the patch for the first time that was going on. And that was very exciting or like really important for people. So yeah, that's, it's not, <laughs> it's not just an ego story. It's actually, I need, I need multiple ways to get to you guys or I need, you know, um, yeah. Danger Davis asked, will there be ranked rewards? And yes, there are already ranked rewards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Kessler yeah. says, we'll follow for scribbles. <laughs> Um, uh, someone asked about re resetting rank. We haven't figured out exactly what we're doing with that. Probably to some degree, depending on how much we change the ranked mode between the seasons. I think it depends. Ooh. Like, I'm not sure how much we'll change it for season two. We'll probably do some changes, so maybe it'll be a... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> I love the art on this. It's like, I know, is this so cute? Kind of creature. <laughs> This is so uh, kind of later in the run, so the stat might be better. Yeah, not a random. Not take the stat. It's funny. This is one of the ones that, looking at the oh, internal yeah? analytics, it's like people pick 
the increased rarity of rewards. I mean, really? it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. And we don't, like, it's just, it's a, it's a little wishy-washy how much you actually get, but everyone's just even like, if it's... yeah, I want better stuff. So this is something that I don't even know. So, like, when you're looking at the stats for this, for example, do you also see, like, where in the game they, like, players are when they make the decision, or is it just, like, a tally of, like... Uh, it depends on the thing, but... For sea breaches, I'm not actually sure if we can currently see where they're at. I'm sure we could get it if yeah. we asked about it. Some of these are a bit more just like, yeah, big like data dumps. But uh, definitely a lot of them we see where they're at. Somebody asked, "What do you mean the rarity is less than we thought?" Oh, it means how many people, <laughs> how many people choose this no, one? No, yeah. rarity is definitely good. But yeah, it, I would say it just makes less sense Ooh. the later in the run you are if you have fewer things to get. I don't know what I want. I I have a lot of. I have a lot of poison, so I think I'm going to do plus three points in damage. That sounds really good. Yeah. Uh, what is the title card Devox has? So Devox, you, yeah, Devox right here yeah. has already reached Inkbound rank. And is this the Inkbound, this is, or is it, wait, so I right now have Ink Supporter or something? Let me, mm -hmm. sorry. What is the actual name? I'm actually not sure what the... So the story begins, supporter. Thing. And Devox, can you tell us the name of yours again? I don't remember. That's Inkbound, cool. Okay, the Inkbound, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that is an ink... <laughs> now you're changing it mid... Yeah. Right, just showing off. That's fantastic. I love it. Oh, I don't... Uh... Yeah, you can eat your fish. Yeah, I'll just eat it. <laughs> yeah, but I like having the fish late... Oh, well... see, this is the problem. Now... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's for max rank. And Devox says, how many hours, Devox, have you... Um, have you, has it taken you to get to Inkbound on this one? Okay, let's see, and I'm also going to, uh, ooh, wait, wait, why is this, okay, here we go. What's, that's gonna do a little more damage. There we go. Devox says in the game chat, 32 hours. Okay. Say like the devil has like 50-ish hours, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, something I think I would like to do too at some point is like if you get max rank in a certain aspect versus another. Like I, I think oh. it feels very different to me if I'm yeah. max rank something versus another. But I think right now it we didn't want to make it take too long to get max rank with everything. So if like only one ranked up at a time that'd be a little too crazy. But maybe that's something that we'll explore in the future, like rewarding more for maxing with a certain aspect or just having a different rank on them in general. It, it's something we've talked about at least. Um, did you ever try out an upgradable augment slash vestige system before? That's a really good uh, I have, I have not seen that. <laughs> I'm not seen it. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe they did before. Um, I think that kind of goes back to the other question of, like, combining certain vestiges could be cool. Um, but yeah, that's a little hard to, like, figure out if people... It's, it's hard to guarantee that they'll get both of them and then make something happen with it, so... I think it sounds like a cool idea. Hmm. What do I want to do? How many people can I get in my dash? There we go. Lots of people. I can get lots of people. It looks so funny when the, ah, no. the bearer gets pulled. I know. It's like... Yeah, does he leave his... Oh, no, no. His... No, yeah, yeah. It. Maybe he should be unpullable, but... No! Yeah. Oh my god, there's going to be a Weaver Riot if you do that. <laughs> it's hard, too, because some things that, you know, we're just like, eh, maybe it's fine. And then if it, the game is live, we're less, you know likely to want to change certain things. It's, it's not like a big deal, I would say. Ooh, Mumsy, that is a great question. I think I'll, that is, um, any plans on allowing cosmetics to have customizable colors in the future? That is for the art team. Yeah, I, I have no idea. And I need to get Will, cool. I need to get... <laughs> yeah, don't nerf full. Yeah, Katie says, don't you nerf my full, I will find you. Um, yeah, all these art questions. I'm definitely going to try to get our art director on the stream. He's super busy. You guys, we're a, we're <laughs> we've got a very a pretty small um, art team, and they are all really really busy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try, but it probably won't be until things cool down a bit. Um, and at least season two is well underway. Oh, thank you, Archer, for uh, for s subscribing. That is fantastic. We love that. 
keep the questions coming. Who? Okay, let's see if there's a if anybody has a question that could stump Colin. I don't think so. Even really on, <laughs> I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna. I, mean, I don't know if that'd be stumped, but there's probably yeah. something I can't answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. But that's okay. Nobody's channel points are on the line. Who cares if I die? Uh, redirect damage effects towards another target. I don't know if we've really talked about that, but those kind of effects are always... They're, they're hard to do, because I would say multiplayer, it's like, you can't really opt into it as the other person. You're like, I direct yeah. all my damage to this person. They're very trolly effects. I would say anything that has that sort of troll nature to it is always something that we want to be a bit more careful with. Uh, okay, KG is being great with what's the square root of that number. <laughs> yeah, no um, he stumped me. Storm Creek, who's joining late, and hello, it's really great to see you. What is your what is Colin's specialty? What is your specialty? In uh, or like I don't know. I've done a lot of different things. I'm I mean I'm just I'm a designer, so I do a lot of content stuff. But I've worked a lot on both like you know making player abilities, doing enemy stuff, doing game modes, doing just just do content. <laughs> in general and make sure the game's fun that's kind of my my role i would say uh worked on a lot of different things so then you know like both pvp things and pve there's a lot of differences and uh yeah got a dream job yeah you feel yeah, yeah. It's for, you. It's <laughs> not for everyone but yeah this is definitely what i've always wanted to do oh um what do you what would you say speaking of dream jobs what would you say one of the challenges like the unexpected challenges of being a game designer is uh, it definitely varies job to mm -hmm. job, for mm -hmm. sure. So, I would say it's always, like, you want to, I would say, like, first kind of hone in on what the, like, core thing you're shooting for for a certain game. Like, you want to... Like, genre? or uh, Yeah, but just, like, kind of figuring out your... Like, I always try to deal in, like, constraints for what I'm making. So, oh, like, oh. making sure that I understand what are like the sort of surrounding like what are the rules kind of to what we're building like we don't want to expand beyond a certain thing we're just the more you can kind of define what you're working on the easier it is for everything and then you can still break the rules but you want to like break it in like fun ways that sort of you know listen to those constraints in some way so i mean the hard part might be like coming up with those like initial ideas and getting everything to mm. everyone to kind of like buy in on what you're trying to do yeah and making sure that that's like this game i would say the challenge has been we iterate way more <laughs> on this than yeah. anything else i've worked on so it's like even coming up you know close to live like things are changing non-stop which is yeah. cool i think it's it's a fun way to work for sure even coming up right after live things yeah, are changing. yeah. Like, we just did a pat. yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I would say this one in particular has been it's a you know double-edged sword of we we iterate a, a ton which yeah. means i think the final product is, is better but it also can get a little stressful when you're like eh, i kind of figured something out and then like everything changes and we saw it a lot when i would say an example is like people coming in from oh yeah playing the the technical test like everything's different <laughs> and that was only a few months ago so like we just have to rebalance a lot of enemies change your abilities uh stuff like that oh fine mumsy it's really it, thank you so much for joining and for moderating the chat um let's see we have some oh god before it goes too far down okay any thoughts on removing coin piles it feels like a breakup flow uh flow so much having to scout each new area you arrive uh at. yeah i mean i think we've like sort of streamlined it i guess i would say so they used to be more off the beaten path so you'd have to like kind of wander around and look for them hmm. I think it's mostly supposed to be more of a like quick dopamine hit of just like oh, click the shiny thing get some money um yeah i mean there's no like reason they couldn't just be like coins on the, the ground it but it just feels better i would say to click the things and break it what did dbox give me on defeating an enemy restore one hp thank you dbox yeah <laughs> um what have we got uh somebody asked what your degree was and how did you get into this uh, I saw that. A psychology but... degree. Really? But, yep. What? Yep. I didn't know that. That's a big thing. Yeah. Uh, huh. That's what it was. Uh, Wait, but you said you knew you wanted to be a game. So you yeah, I mean, to... I just said yeah, yeah. played games forever and just been around games forever. I did do some comp sci stuff, but I was more interested in the design side of things. I should do this. I should just heal every. Um. What about? Okay, wait, and then 
What about a binding that redirected damage negative effects if you target an enemy and redirected healing shielding positive effects yeah, if you target I mean, an that, ally? That definitely seems, as far as like the trolley factor, definitely a lot easier to deal with. I suppose there'd still be some issues of like, if you want to take all the enemy damage at turn and other people redirect things, that might get a little harder to deal with, but you'd probably just like stand inside of AoEs and then if you want to like super optimize, you just have to make sure that you're on voice chat or communicating with your team. Let's do Carver. I need some healing. That's a re that's a really good point, Rising Dusk. Psychology is very important for UI, UI yeah, and yeah. the human factors. I mean, a lot of like be. mobile games don't even hire designers. They just go purely for psychology people. Really? Like, getting yeah, which I'm not into. I'm I'm here to make a fun game, but um, yeah, depending on like which side of the games industry you're in, some people just lean more strictly towards psychology. You mean like mobile? Yeah, just oh, like mobile okay. games in general. Like, don't they care more about just like addicting people to you know some experience rather than like having a good time? I see. Like, we definitely want people to be interested and like have a fun time playing our game, but it should be more through just like it being a good game and a good experience rather than like you know the internal psychology is like tricking you to want to keep playing. No, that's not gonna be in things, maybe? Oh no, that's not gonna be. Let's do her. No. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Oh, and my claim rewards. Can't forget that. I'm hitting, inflict one stack of shocked. I'm smiting an enemy. I don't have anything that smites. So I will do this. Uh, thoughts on debuffing enemy to reduce size of their attack? That sounds cool. It's. It's always traditionally been a little harder to change size of abilities, just like in any kind of game because it's depending on the systems like the mm -hmm. effects don't necessarily play nicely with like scaling up oh. scaling down so you need to kind of make sure that that's sort of built in to what you're doing um so we could do it it just like might be like the the effects don't quite match up um yeah yes that sounds great thank you dan um have you thought about adding a salvage option for vestiges uh, that's definitely come up quite a bit. I think it's it's a mechanic we're talking about for sure. So I think at some point we'll try something with uh, some way to get rid of vestiges to change them or sell them or do something with them. I don't know if it'll be like a season mechanic or something else, but yeah, we, we've talked about it quite a bit and I think everyone wants to try something with it. There we go. Uh, will there be a healer class? I'd really love to see something with very support heavy, maybe even with augments and ascensions that let you go towards mass support or targeted support for players. Uh, healer, maybe not, but like I think more supporty aspects for sure. Um, it's just, I would say we have to make sure that they work single player as well. That's kind of the, speaking of constraints, that's like the constraint we kind of work in. It should be something that's still viable playing solo. Um, but it, it could be better playing multiplayer. I'd say, like, Clairvoyant's kind of a sort of a look at that in that, like, it has a lot of ways that it can help out multiple people. So it generally works better in co-op, but it's still obviously, like, viable solo. There we go. You can maybe salvage vestiges for glyphs. That's a great idea, actually. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I would say, like, right now there's it's like kind of interesting that you can get common vestiges early that you'll just want to, you know, get rid of later for better things, but doesn't necessarily feel that good to do. That's one of those kind of questions that we deal with, you know, a lot. It's just like balance wise, it kind of makes sense, but feel wise, it's not the best that you just kind of get rid of something. So I think that's something that we all kind of want to, I don't know, change in some way. So it, both like, you know, you're, you're maybe early game getting a vestige versus getting quillings. You're kind of sacrificing something a little bit, but uh, you have a little bit more late game power out of it, even if you don't use it at the end game by like, yeah, getting rid of it or something else. Uh, right, the camera is an art thing. Maybe Will will be able to answer that a bit better when I get him on. Oh, do you want to take this? I oh, yeah, it takes control of enemies. Um, commanding that sounds interesting. I think that, so. My sort of answer earlier was that 
we just have to think about things in terms of like, you know, what if you had four of these in a group? I think as long as controlling an enemy didn't mean that it like didn't take its turn, and if it was just like you use, you know, you make it attack another guy, like that sounds fine to me, like something we could balance around. As long as it's not just like you control this guy and it doesn't do its turn and it attacks one of its friends, uh, that that's when it gets hard as far as like making sure that we can still balance four player multiplayer. Do I want to restore HP? Because I'm kind of low. Or do I want to boost my power? Yeah. It's up to you. <laughs> no! I honestly haven't been paying much attention. I know. <laughs> answering questions. You guys are doing great, though. Thank you. Well, Vbox and Dan are yeah. really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of amazing. Clearly need more ranks for these, these guys. Do this. Um... Oh, look at that bow, t box <laughs> Dan, do you also have the bow unlocked? I don't know if you have the bow unlocked. Uh, do you mind if we go to the... Oh, sorry, that's... I, that, I thought that was the party General for a track. second. Yeah. <laughs> uh, crit damage would be good. Or inflict, <gasps> inflict more stacks of poison. You get a lot of poison, yeah. And especially because this one deals the poison immediately. Then deal poison damage after I inflict it. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, let's do that. I want it. I want it. Um, any interesting data points on pick rates and common deaths so far? Um, nothing too crazy. I mean, we've had a lot of, I guess, like, testing beforehand. But I will say, like, with the, that one sea breach, like, people always pick the, you know, higher luck over getting the stat. I don't know if that's too crazy. Like, maybe everyone would just expect that. Luck is the number one stat, of course. Everyone wants to be luckier. Let's do this. I think this might be good. If uh, I can make it work. The thing I'm most proud of working on so far in Inkbound, I would say it's definitely love hate, but I the villains, I think, you know, I've been working on them quite a bit, and it's been tricky for sure, because there needs to be some level of complexity there to make sure that they're interesting, mm -hmm. but also make sure that they're understandable so there's a lot of iteration and i think they can still probably yeah. be iterated on a little bit more to make sure that they're yeah. who took... know, perfect wait but... who took my blossom somebody took it i was just trying to test to see if i really did lose <laughs> that oh, no that's twin thing uh, what about above you to the left oh yeah. verdant blossom okay wait no that's not what i wanted i wanted the um no there was another one it was right here acacia sorry it was my acacia who took the acacia you guys, give me back my... <laughs> yeah, so, so Runestone, I would say... Wait, where is it? It's one of those love-hate ones. I think, like, it's it works out pretty well, but obviously oh, you have to, like, understand how the mechanic works. So I think I could do a better job of teaching it there we go. in some way would be ideal. Um, okay. So now I have still... My recommendation for it would be that, you, I guess... Figure out how the hand attack pattern works. Basically, they alternate between punching and direct attacking. And then if there's only one left alive, they'll always direct attack. So you can kind of end your turn in a spot where they will punch towards the head and then just move out of the way. Uh, obviously, oh, it gets a little sorry. harder in multiplayer mode. But if you can spend less will points on making them sort of reorient towards, the, towards you and just you know, kind of walk out of the way. And then also, I would say, it can be a little tricky on Shadow Rinston, depending on your class, because, like, Obelisk hits everything, so don't accidentally use your hit everything ability when you're not making the, the fist face ahead. And then same with uh, Clairvoyant. It's always a little tricky, like, moving your your orb to maybe, like, reorient it, and then if you move it away, it's going to hit it again. Mm -hmm. So you can't uh, make sure you're in a good spot for that to happen again. Yeah, and that one was, like, yeah. We had more things reorient to face the players when they were attacking before, and that was kind of a late change where it didn't happen, so it's it's sort of a unique mechanic now. So I'm trying to, like, we changed, yeah. So it's just, like, it's unique for those guys, so we want to, I think, ideally do a better job explaining it and then maybe showcasing that mechanic more in other spots so it's not like, oh, I'm on this boss, and it's this brand-new thing that i got to figure out. 
Uh, I'm just going to answer suit up in games. Uh, could we get a ping effect? Yeah, there is this. That's another great for whoever also asked about the rank up and rank down. There is G. If you just press G, you can get this nifty little cross to show off. Not to, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you too much. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. I was kind of rambling there. No, it's uh, great. I love uh, rambles. Are you kidding? Rambles are yeah. great. Ping, yeah. Uh, there is a, like, straightforward ping. Definitely something I think we've talked about making, like, you know, there's a lot of ping systems in games these days, so maybe something we can do to make it a little bit more, like, attack this or run away from this kind of thing. Take him up. Okay. There we go. Kill that. Which should get my yes. Look uh, at my ability power right now. Thanks to which one? Which one gives me more when I kill an enemy? Oh, I'll do it later. Okay. And then. As far as special effects to improve clarity, yeah, we definitely try to a bit, and I think it's something we can potentially, you know, do better over time for sure. Um, something that we do do is like the hands will have a specific sort of like punchy pose when they're about to do their punch attack and move towards their target. Um, but it makes sense that like the bosses themselves have different animations as well. They do have, you know, there's like a special animation when the head is knocked out and stuff like that. But I think more like kind of quote unquote UI for with animations is, is smart. Look at this guy, this guy's so punchy. You're right, Moscow is really good. Right now. Especially the poison. Okay. Yeah. Uh, someone good. asked with the latest patch, there's a lot of weight on glyphs. I think it's something that... I think internally it just made more sense that, like, kind of augments and abilities are more glyph-related. Um, and I, I definitely get there's a lot of feedback right now on, like, is it just too glyph-related? I don't have enough glyphs to do the rerolling that I want to do. I, th I think we'll definitely keep an eye on that one and potentially change it in some way if it just continually feels bad. But we updated the amount of glyphs that you do get from taking glyph rewards, and it's always a fine line to kind of walk to, like, see it. Like, we don't want people to reroll everything. But we want them to reroll enough that you know they feel okay with what they get, or they're not taking dead options, I guess. So I would just say we're keeping an eye on that one for sure. If it continues to feel bad, or uh, yeah, we don't really like where it's at, we'll we'll change it. Interesting. Any chance that we can get a bestiary with an inbuilt model viewer? I want to look at the enemies. Hmm. Uh, yeah. That might be. I don't know if you'll be able to. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about how players can just walk into the wave without spending will to get the bonuses for Moss Cloak and Clairvoyant? Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Um, definitely don't love it. It's, it's a hard problem for sure. And it's kind of the reason why we changed the whole thing with there were enemy attacks that like triggered after X amount of player actions because it was the same sort of inherent issue as you can just move out of the way of certain things someone does their actions and then you like reset your movement to go back in there yeah i would say it's kind of like an optimization that we're sort of okay with if people want to go through the effort right now just because yeah that's great that's a good one like we like those abilities and it's not that huge of a balanced thing but i agree that it does feel a little weird so i don't think we're at, we have any like plans on changing it in the near future but maybe we'll look at it some, in the future I'm a little bit nervous about this. It's been a long time since I've oh, okay. <laughs> I've gone against this guy. You might yeah. have to help me out. Yeah, for sure. Did you also work on this on Runestone? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. All, okay. All, of all of them, yeah. Because I know you were mentioning Argoloth and Cinder, but I actually forgot to ask you about this guy. But we're not there yet. Uh, okay. Let's see. Where am I going to go? I guess I'll go here. Try to get these guys. And also, wow, these are good. Beefy. Yeah, the beefy dude. Kind of the voice actor. I definitely agree. I think voice acting is such a there you go. huge part of games, especially the ones that have more story. Uh, yes, yeah, focus. Uh, Sigma Toast said, Hand Boss is the most fun boss you guys made. Oh, nice. that's yeah. nice. <laughs> I definitely. I like a lot about the hand boss. I just think. 
the weakness would be just like being able to explain it a little bit more clearly. But I think once you get the hang of it, it works really well. It's just that the initial kind of approach can be a little daunting. Oh, KG, that's so mean. Don't clip it and then show it to the world if I lose. That'd be terrible. Okay, let's see. I think... Uh, let's do this. And then do... Uh, exploits or augment combinations that have emerged as more popular. I think there's some... <laughs> yeah. I think there's, like, some amount of... Um, like the one that you get cooldown reduction when you use other augments, that's the one that's kind of come up the most that can sort of break the game. I don't necessarily like mind the idea of there being super duper powerful things because one, it's like extremely random if you get it. So yeah. You can't, you know, do it every run. So it's not the worst thing if players do like randomly stumble upon something that's like amazingly powerful as you can do it every run. Um, but sort of going back to my other thing, with multiplayer, it's kind of the thing that I always think about, too, is if someone's, like, going infinite and it just takes them 10 minutes to do their turn, that's something that I think is less fun for everyone. Uh, yeah, and it just, if it's if it's too easy to win, then it gets a little boring. I think some of the growth uh, vestiges are maybe too good. There's some that just kind of, like, scale up based on something and don't have any caps. I'd say it's more more elegant the less like caps you put on things so we generally try not to put caps on stuff but obviously there's a few times where it's like oh i just you know got a hundred physical power from bone calcifier <laughs> I'm like that eh, i can't really balance around that <laughs> people just do ridiculous amounts of damage uh vivi Yaga, thank you so much my uh, my partner and I have been really enjoying the game and are excited to continue for the continued development. You are all oh, doing an amazing job. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. You. Yeah. Do you guys have plans to add something like Halo Skulls uh, to add some controlled challenge slash chaos? Like only three bindings for a run that might have some added benefits, like getting rare bindings augments early. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd Maybe. say like the daily... <laughs> runs or something that we're planning on doing soon that's kind of like that where it's more limited in what you can do and has more rules over the run but beyond that i'd say just yeah just uh, feel free to make suggestions in discord over like what kind of future features you'd want to see i would say like we don't want to go like too wide with the amount of things that we want to support especially with multiplayer you kind of want to like have fewer things that people can kind of engage with just so it's easier to get groups for things um but that said, like, you know, each season can have, like, fun, cool things. And then with the daily runs, maybe that's something that you're looking for, where it's uh, a lot harder. And also, like, quests. We can do, like, quests that you have to do oh, yeah. certain, like, very limited things. Um, so that's another option for a way that we can reward people for doing, like... I like that. Yeah. That super yeah, yeah, yeah. hardcore style. Yeah, game. yeah. From a game dev standpoint, does this make sense? What if you have a class that morphs into the targeted enemy, but then doesn't take the enemy off the board? You copy them, and the abilities change based yeah. off what you copy? Oh, I don't have even enough money for this. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, <laughs> I would say it's more of like a cost thing. Like, yeah. does every enemy have unique abilities, and are they all, like, balanced in a way that makes sense to copy them? So, like, one, you'd have to make a ton of new abilities, which would be kind of expensive. And then, two, you'd have to make sure that, like, they're either relatively, you know, equivalent in how good they are. Um, and then also, it would be, like, do people only go to certain books with this class to, like, oh, like, this one has the Burrower, and if I copy the Burrower, I instantly destroy everything, oh. or, it's or it's just terrible. I, I know I didn't press it. I actually, I wanted to make sure that you got a chance to talk a little bit about this before we started. Okay. Sure. All right. So, what state was it in when you first started on it? What changes did you uh, like? That rinse did not exist. This was yeah, yeah. Uh, so this one that you did completely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I all I did most of them. I would say Cinder is the one that kind of existed, but like it changed dramatically. Yeah. Um, but when I first started, I did Argolath. Like that was the first thing I did yeah. when I joined. Yeah. And then this one was like the model existed. So I okay. kind of came with an idea based on the model. It's like, oh, it has two hands <laughs> and a big head. I yeah. I could punch it. It's so. <laughs> basically it. Um, yeah. And just like the general idea of you want to make the hands punch the head and it does some okay. sort of like negative thing to it. 
Okay. And then kind of... I would say, like, the thing that I've learned the most is, like, trying to keep things simpler where I can. So, yeah. like, thing, like, I never really go above three abilities on an enemy because okay. often either fights don't last that long or, like, a boss will change phases yeah. before that happens. Yeah, so, yeah. like, originally I was... I made a lot of MMOs <laughs> in the past, so yeah. things have get a lot more complicated, I would say, with MMOs. So there's you can definitely see some like MMO sort of mechanics out yeah. there, like yeah, influences. Yeah. But generally, like things are much more discreet in the how you know how a turn works. There's only like X number of turns per phase, so it has to be a lot more kind of like clear what's happening and just like makes sense that it only shifts between two or three different things. Okay. All right. So is there anything that you want us to look to point out in particular while we're playing this guy be like oh yeah i remember when i was thinking about this or like this was really hard to actually implement because uh yeah i would say like this fight didn't change too much i would say like the main change was it just had to be more clear that the hands like change direction when they're um punching so one of the hands will punch after this first turn they yeah. both do like the aoe to start and then you want to be farther away the, the other mechanic i do like on this that i personally would wouldn't mind doing a kind of pass on just like clarity wise is oh, these guys have two ranges for their aoe hit and oh yeah i put it on more guys later like the the rhinos Whee. but essentially the closer you are the more damage you take um, I think we could probably do a little better job on just, like, making sure that's, like, clear and that there's two damage ranges on it. Oh, yeah, I can't Which even... I, and I think, it's really far, because I can't even yeah. get all the way over there. Yeah. And that's kind of the idea, is, like... Well, that's fine. I'll take a little bit. I want to make people take a little bit of damage. This is kind of getting to one of the the main sort of, I guess, base issues in the, the earlier version of the game. It's a lot of AoEs. You just, you know, sidestep an inch, and it doesn't do anything to you. So yeah. So it's kind of my way to make sure that you can definitely get out of a majority of the damage but you'll still take some like chip damage from this guy um, so yeah the hand on the other side is someone's making a punch so you're, you're good i would okay. say don't hit it <laughs> don't hit this one yeah don't hit that one because it'll turn to face whoever hit it last okay but i can hit this one still yeah. right and yeah. you want to kill the the ads or what you want to shoot for so the the runestone guardian this guys. guy right down yeah, here that okay. one and the one above you you definitely want to kill them because they'll start to stack up. Okay, yeah. All right, let's see. So if I do this and then maybe do this, I can maybe yeah. start to... Okay, well, now this guy's targeted towards me. Okay. All right. Oh, and I should... Ah, I drank that too early. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah. There. So definitely... Yeah. To... And this fight's definitely a lot about facing, like making sure the boss faces away before he does his... Lava breath. Things. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, keep. So I think it's like, definitely. Yeah, you I need to kind of like play it once or twice to figure out the kind of cadence and what uh, things do. I guess I could. Ah, no, they keep moving it. Hey, this is fine. This is fine. This looks fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. That's better. better. Alright, let's just. I'll just. I'm just gonna stay right here. If yeah, I hit don't, the. Don't hit no, that. Okay. Don't hit that. <laughs> okay. Let it hit the head. Because then I'll knock it out. Easy to anger faces for the player that had last hit it with the damaging binding. Okay. Yeah, but I I want to help my players. Yeah, but those hands cannot die until they hit the head. And right. They die. So you want to make them hit the head. They'll die. They'll they'll knock out the head. You get a uh, <laughs> increased damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And now. Okay. So actually, this is the best time for me to hit it. Hey. Okay, well now it's entered probably phase two. Uh, the question, how do you bounce around damage early game with classes that would mitigate damage? Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of just a numbers thing. We sort of look at the numbers and make sure that everyone is sort of getting to late game or mid game decently well. I mean, I guess like doing more damage is kind of mitigation in a sense. So just making sure that you kill enough stuff. I would say that like Moss Cloak is probably a little better at taking down more guys early on. Uh, I mean, it has come up a lot that Moss Cloak feels like it can use some mitigation stuff. I, I definitely hear the um, kind of like complaints that 
I think like maybe everyone should have some sort of baseline mitigation to a degree. So mm -hmm. both, both aspects do, so it makes sense. Um, but at the same time, like I guess the way I play, I usually always take one kind of de defensive right. uh, yeah, binding same. and one offensive one, depending on who I'm playing or like what rank I'm at. What rank are you at right now in the... Uh, in the live version, I'm gold software right now. Wow, so I nice. definitely need to... What? A little more. That's... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not inkbound yet. That's okay, you sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> Still gotta work on future things, so... Definitely when I get to inkbound, it might take me a little longer. Why can I not? Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, I think there were some other questions. Um, are you allowed to share what is the most played class and what has the highest win rate? Uh, they're all actually pretty equal. I think Obelisk is doing pretty well, maybe the highest win rate, but also I think Obelisk is better at lower ranks. That's my theory. We all have our theories. They're all pretty close. They're all pretty close. And as far as play rate, like the initial three ones that you have are just the highest, but they're all pretty close to each other. Um, just because, you know, you start with them and there's a lot of new players currently. Um, but my theory is more that like Obelisk, with, before things start getting increased health from the ranked modifiers, just its base abilities do so much damage that it's just really good at like, clearing through a lot of encounters. That's dark. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'll still I'll be fine. I love that obelisk. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's wool class. Yeah. That's so great. Um, okay, where do I mark these guys? Do that. And also Maybe try to give them even more. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, thoughts on a class that heals from dealing finishing blows or consuming bleeds? That sounds cool. Healing is traditionally always like pretty hard because Why is... you know people can just end fights with a lot of health or more health than they started with. I think even currently, like maybe healing is too good in general. Mm -hmm. Do not yeah. nerf healing. Absolutely not. Are you yeah. kidding me? This has been the only thing that's been oh, keeping me <laughs> in exactly. game right now. That's how we got No, it. that's terrible. Yeah. Do not join Andrew <laughs> in the nerf in the nerf yeah. team. This is like, no no. Healing no, no. is much safer in that at least like it's a mitigation. It doesn't you know, you don't end fights stronger than you started them. Um, and then yeah, with like a berserker class that heals from fights, it's it's tricky. Absolutely not, you guys. That is not okay. Yeah, regen. I definitely agree that regen is is very strong right now. I'm I've been trying to nerf it, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Probably nothing like too major until season two. Ooh, thought on a class that gets empowered by standing in the ink spots, oh, ink circles. That sounds awesome. Yeah. So then give up HP I to do bonus makes, effects. That that sounds more fun for like a berserker class, ink ink circer. Ink circer. That yeah, does more damage from standing in ink, gunk, light, and uh, yeah, maybe get some healing. Please leave my region alone. Absolutely, yeah, yeah exactly. Nobody, yeah. People have got to stop nerfing things in the game. I will riot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could maybe also be like you get less healing in higher ranks, something like that too. So we don't. Like something we did re recently was make the earlier ranks and unranked a little easier, a little less damage. It's it's very hard to tell. Just doing, you know, a lot of internal testing and everyone gets better. And then you're yeah. like, okay, we're getting a lot of data, but everyone's just like dominating. But it's because people have had so much experience playing the game. Yes. yes. There we go. Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. GG. Yes. <laughs> no, absolutely yeah. not. That's all it <laughs> okay, okay. We have we had Devox and Dan Wolf on. Yeah. On the party. Come Correct. on. I know that if I were by myself, this would not have happened. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Hey, you guys found the little. Fun, the that's good... all I care about. Yeah.
Okay, so let's start. Now let's start this giveaway. So we're gonna do, okay, sorry, one moment. Okay, let's see, food giveaway. I had to completely, okay. And then we've got, so we're, just as a quick reminder, um, I am giving priority to people who are followers. And wait, I haven't started it, you guys yet. Wait, I'm gonna I'm going to announce it. <laughs> time wait, to spam. I know, time to spam. All right, now it's announced. So it's gonna be just like last time, the second giveaway of today. We're gonna do. Uh, we did eight, no seven, four for free shinies and three for uh, the scribbles. We're also giving out scribble emotes for content creators. We want to support the content creators, so that's why we don't give as many scribbles um, emote. Uh, giveaway. Oh my God, look at the tally. Um, <laughs> because um, we really want to support them and, th and the those that emote, uh, those codes are mainly for content creators. So again, if you are one, hit me up. I will give you them. But they are, yeah, so they're mostly for them and we want to support them. Um, <laughs> yeah. You kitty please. Yes, exactly. Uh, here, how about, let's, yeah. Okay, I will do this later on this account and let's go hang out in the Athenium for a little bit. I think I'll give people about maybe two to three more minutes to enter. And if you guys have any, let's do compliments. I think you guys have been asking a lot of really, really good questions. If you have any compliments for Colin, no, they've been very <laughs> this nice. is, yeah, this is, you guys have been amazing, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, if you guys have any compliments that you want, Colin or other members of the devs to hear, then definitely this is your, yeah. <laughs> a nice head shape and Thank good facial hair. Right. Yeah. Okay, but also, all right, that is fine, but let's also keep it, now that I realize what I've opened <laughs> up for, let's keep it PC and maybe mostly related to... <laughs> they can talk about my hair. Yeah, hair is fine. No, I'm saying, but I'm like, I know where this might go, and let's like, <laughs> let's keep it PC, you guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, you guys are positive and have a great attitude. Really refreshing to see that kind of community that's being built. I love that. Thank you so much. Y'all are doing awesome. Keep it up. Can't wait for season two on the staging build. Yeah, Shadow King. Shadow King's one of our playtesters. I have to get a playtester, uh, like, banner or something for people. And I love how some people are also having a little dance party in the Athenium. Thank you for doing the stream. I love that. Um, it's been really fun learning all the boss mechanics over repeated runs. Great job, devs. Love it. All right, we got, let's see, one more minute to enter the giveaway. Keep the compliments coming i love it colin seems very passionate about the game i think so doing yeah my best. yeah you're doing you're doing you're i think you're doing very very well i uh, love the game can't wait to see what you guys come up with colin your efforts are well recognized oh, thank that's you. really amazing um what else have we got this is a, just, this is a positive <laughs> message i love it i love the clairvoyance class look at the viewership spike yeah everybody everybody wants the here i know everybody <laughs> it's Understandable. Understandable. Anyone named Colin is a good one. I cast for Jay. I love that. Love the game. Love the devs. Love you all. Now it says Nana. That's a oh, love it. Uh, Semper, I love the thought process that goes behind all the enemies and mechanics. Feels good to know the game is in good hands. Love it. And I love when you guys read the chat, including this message. <laughs> okay, that has been a, uh, one minute. I love it. You guys are amazing. Let's draw. We're going to have four for free shinies. And then uh three for scribble so colleen congratulations oh ak Pol or ak pullman hey congrats thou art potato congratulations 50 hours already in the game that is that's a good compliment that's that, the best compliment wow that yeah yeah that's true okay congratulations oh um okay free shinies uh kuf wars or i don't know yeah all right this is our right. congratulations free shinies and now for three for scribbles uh crow wallace congratulations you will get a scribbles l cry one got yourself a cat and storm Krieg. you got scribbles nice. congratulations follow the instructions um in the chat DM me on Discord with a little screenshot or something of your Twitch ID or I mean sorry Twitch username so I know I have it here so you got so nobody try to get it and say that I was Stormcree or something. Has I anyone will... tried to pull a fast one? 
You know, no, everybody is really on it, honestly, but I, yes, we do have a great community. Honestly, nobody has tried, has tried to pull a fast one, but, um, you know, I'm, yeah. trying, to, I'm trying to prevent it. it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. This was absolutely amazing. Um, and also at the end, I like to raid. So I will do that after we say bye. Thank you so much yeah, for joining. Of yeah, this I'd is be a, happy to come back. I'm excited. Yeah. This is a lot of fun. I think that we've had a lot of really, really great questions today, mm -hmm. and that was amazing. And yeah, I hope, happy yeah. to answer them. Yay! I'm always, the only like hard part is like accidentally saying something I shouldn't. So I yeah. think it's been good. I know. I have to have like a. Andrew, <laughs> I, I watched the previous stream, and Andrew's talking about a lot of things. So I'm like, okay, I'm probably fine. Yeah. <laughs> I know he is fine. We sometimes let things slip, and yeah, that's okay too. Well, yeah, yeah as long as it's not. Any big stuff. You guys are pretty hush hush about the big things, so it's fine. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Again, it's mainly like we're walk we're working on new stuff, and it should be super fun. And just keep the feedback coming, and yeah. we'll definitely listen to it. We we look at Discord. A lot. What did you almost act out saying? Okay. <laughs> you gotta watch the stream. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. And then we've already got one uh, raid request, so we'll do that. Let's raid Vox Indie. I love it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's raid Vox India. Absolutely. Um, okay. Oh, already. Yep. Oh, you followed. I guess I followed. Yeah. Okay. I will start so people can do this. And while we're waiting, I'll just say bye. Thank you everyone so much for joining. I'll see you next bye. week, Wednesdays and Fridays. And check the Discord or Steam for the time. All right. Bye, everyone. Yep. See you guys. <laughs>